This for you. Too many mind. Too many mind? Mind the soul. Mind the people want. Mind the enemy. Too many mind. Yo, 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 what's good, big dog? It's your boy Soul Power and Dre up at Samurai Kennels Wednesday Live. What's good, Soul? What it is, my brother, what it is. Glad to be back. Glad to be black. Yes, sir, bro. It's good to hear your voice. Good to hear your voice, brother. Good to hear your voice, man. How you be? Yes, indeed. Been a minute, bro. Nah, brother. It's been the right amount of time, bro. You've been on your purpose, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, Staying man. busy, man. Super busy. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, um, I got some cooking for you tonight. So we have some cooking, some cooking. Yeah, yes, man. Uh, let me get, let me get, uh, we got some people who came through the chat. Let me get some quick, a quick roll call, bro. And I'm gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna go ahead and start cooking a little bit, man. But give some people some time to get in here. You know, the YouTube algorithm be hating. They don't. They don't send out the live notification as soon as you go live. So, y'all make sure if y'all in here, y'all go ahead and share it. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button on the way in, and make sure y'all uh, keep them blade sharp, that defense tight, as Brother Soul would say. Y'all already know. Dicky Foster, first in the building. What's good, big dog? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brother Wing, Moon, OG said, words used as swords, samurai time. Heart and finish kennels, salute samurai and the Shogun army. Salute to you too, my brother. Salute to you as well. <laughs> Fat Bill Reynolds in the building. Fat TV. Salute, salute. Salute yeah, to salute the brothers. The whole TV. Yes, Oh, man. So a lot of I've been missing out on that man, bro. Them sound effects is, is crucial, bro. They add so much to the to the to the atmosphere, bro. That's what's up. Yes, sir. JT, genetic My brother. Rocky. Hey, shout out to yes, JT. Yes, sir. Ooh. Shogun. Uh oh, uh -oh. Trizzleate, brother. Big A in the building. Everybody, Trizzleate. <laughs> oh, we're true the lighting. We're true. The <laughs> <laughs> Yo, big A, what's good? What to do? Hey, my man. brother, my brother. Hey. Yeah, yeah. We just want to roll call right now, big A, giving people time to get in here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got some stuff to talk about. And I got actually a couple video clips for us to analyze. So I did not get the the one for you to uh, you know, we got it coming with the uh, with the skits for you to do your thing on, bro. But I didn't download them this time. We will have them next time around, bro. Uh, that's on no me, doubt, no doubt. I'm, I'm telling you that brother Soul Power is it should be on. on uh, what's that? Uh, the Chocolate Factory uh, having people laughing the way he be having them laughing, bro. Salute, salute. You're rock is in the building. <laughs> You're rock. Shrenok. Shrenok. In the wood. Four, five, six. Salute. Salute. Yes, sir. Brother Jacob Bonner. Hey, yo, salute. Brother. Salute. Sensei Dickie Wing Fat Bill Genetics Rocking. You're rocking the woods. 
What up, brother Jake? Uh -oh. Brother Tony M as well. Where you see him at? Hold on. I, Tony M him there. Him. Yeah. Oh, he just jumped in. Hold on. Yeah, he, he, he was right above uh uh Jacob Bonner or below Jacob Bonner. Dreadlock, Viking family. Man, they come in here so fast, bro. I, yeah, I promise, yeah, yeah. What I'm seeing is uh, okay. Brother Tony, a man, salute to you, brother. I swear to none, I ain't trying to play you, bro. I swear to none. Uh oh, Dicky Foster with a five piece tip, tip, tip. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, Give me sir. that paper. Yeah, brother Vernon, star in the building. What's good, brother Vernon? Salute to the whole chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wifey in the building. She listening. Hey. Hey. And that means the twins is old enough to hear the show now, too, man. Uh, man, right, right, right. She got the headphones up to the to the belly. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. June will be a crazy month. Wordless. What's good, big dog? Salute, salute, salute. Bottom boy Kittles in the building. Hey, that's my brother right there. Hey. So, I know you had called it, but dreadlock rasta. <laughs> yeah. Dreadlock rasta. Yeah, man. Yeah, take the weed and leave the what? Right near the beach, boy. Lord of mercy. Right near the beach. What part of Jamaica you're from? <laughs> 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 Dr. Tell me to back you out of me. <laughs> my lawyer slept with my mama. <laughs> I'm impotent. Get away from me, bitch. <laughs> catch guard TV in the building. What's good, catch guard? Either they're going to catch something or they're going to guard something. Salute to you, big bro. Salute, salute, salute. Oh, there's Tony, yeah, man. Tony, I got you, bro. I ain't about to play you out like that, fam. That's my brother in arms right here. Yes, sir. Man. Yeah, the man. They, they in here. The legend, Cold Mountain Bulldogs in the building. If y'all not following him, he's the number one day. Man, the brother the brother held the whole the, the brother held the whole community accountable, bro. Salute to you, brother. Salute to you, fam. Real talk. Viking family, always scratching hard. Don't bite his tongue for nobody. I see pride. Hey. I see pride. I see a badass mother who don't take nothing from nobody. Yeah. From nobody. Yes, sir. Michael Schrader. Yeah. What's good, big dog? Bro. Salute. Salute. Carolina Blue, 910. That's my spot. That's my hood. Shouts out to you, brother, from the 910. Salute. Salute. Bro. Mrs. McFarland here, man. Y'all, man, it, it, I, man, I'm thankful, man. I'm thankful, bro. Shouts out to Mrs. McFarland. Salutations, man. Salutations. Yeah. Yeah, this bad boy. Haki Lee. Salute. Picked up. Mr. Biggs. Hey. Hemi James, bro, this is crazy, bro. Like, salute to all y'all brothers, man. I swear to God, we're gonna have to start the show in a minute, man, because typically by now I'm already giving information out on like, you know, like the, the little business stuff, man. But I'm trying to get through the comments, man. Y'all are y'all are y'all really keeping it jumping tonight. Brother John Kramer, what's good, big dog? Salute, salute. All right, man. And if I didn't, if I haven't gotten to you yet, because I promise you, like the chat is <laughs> the chat snapped tonight. If I haven't gotten to you, oh my god, hold on, bro. Michael Schrader with the five piece tip, tip. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir. Can't skip over the Shogun brother. M one was good, big dog. Salute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. M one. Northern Association, what it do, baby? Hey, that's another one right there who won in the digital dog show last time. We got the information coming up for y'all on this current digital dog show. Uh, y'all got until Sunday to get to get y'all's entries in there, man. Go ahead and get them entries in there, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's what's that Jeezy said? If I still have to work, I front you a sack. 
Yeah, man, just get in there, bro. Get them dogs involved. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to spread your business, but if you're a little touched in the pockets, this is what I do for you. Enter the dog, and if you win, I just deduct though I just deduct what you should have paid to get in from the cost of uh from the price that you would have won. So if you win a fifty dollar prize, then you're just gonna get forty dollars if you didn't pay to get in there. Because the goal is not to break brothers to get them in there. The goal is to get the dog seen in a positive light. Let's get it. Real talk. Solo but connected kennels. What's good, big dog? Shogun. I, I will lift and door dash into my into my gas pedal to go go, go numb, bro. You know what I'm saying? Damn. My hands can't grip the steering wheel no more to make sure we can put something out for this community, bro. We active. And that's what this episode For those of y'all who didn't uh, peep the name of the episode, it's The Man in the Arena. And we, me and my brothers are going to break this down from our different perspectives because we are an eclectic group and every one of us has our own ideas. They are all generals. Ain't no one leader. You can't cut off the head of the snake because we ain't no damn snakes. Well said. Eli right. Monster. Salute. Salute. Man. Salute. Arrowhead Kennels yeah. in the beauty. Shogun Choice. Salute. What's good, big dog? Salute. Uncle Willie's kennel in the building. What it do? Uncle Willie. Yeah. You Uncle, Uncle Willie's son. Yeah. Uncle Willie, the one that had them, them little young girls coming on the porch. Let me, some, let me get some candy, Uncle Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, Uncle yeah, Willie got a, uh, his left <laughs> pocket is full of keys. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, we got to get to it, y'all. We 12 minutes in, man. Y'all getting in the chat, man. If they're getting in here late, like they can catch it on the replay. They can catch us as the show goes on. But uh, to my brothers, I definitely got to give y'all a little uh, rundown of, of what, what my thoughts were when I generated the name of this uh, right here. And I want to make sure that I give it to y'all uh, the way it's supposed to be given to y'all. Uh, proper. Well, Paul, no ditty. No ditty. <laughs> no no <laughs> ditty. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, um, the name of this episode is derived from uh, from a speech given by uh, Teddy Roosevelt. All right, and if I can get to the description of it, let me just pull it up, y'all. But it's the Teddy Roosevelt poem called "The Man in the Arena," and that's what I want to talk about tonight because um, there's a lot of confusion going on. Uh, if you and this is one of the things you got to realize, bro. I rock with all the channels that stay solid. So if you're not checking out, book. If you're not checking out Twins, if you're not checking out Soul, if you're not checking out Big Hill Farm, if you're not checking out Bottom Boy, if you're not checking out Fat Bill, if you're not checking out, man, man the list could go on forever. That You know, it's, it's a moot point. But if you see us in the chat and we got channels and you're not checking on everybody, you're going to miss something because it's an eclectic group of individuals. We may not all agree on the same thing or have the same point of view, but we build off of each other. If y'all ever repeat, one channel might talk about Red Boy this week and another channel might have a reaction to what that channel said. That is not meant to, cre to create a divide. It's just different experiences with the same kind of animal. Y'all see us in the chats. I see y'all in the chats, man. And that's why I want to talk about the most important thing, the man in the arena. All right? Now, me and my brothers and I, bro, uh, always put your brothers first, by the way. My brothers and I, man, uh, those of us, we're all militant-minded. That's why, you know, we all got our own Shogun little mural that I did for us and all that stuff, bro. And I admire my brothers and I admire y'all in the chat because we're the best people, but also because we're men of standards and men of work y'all see soul with the rabbits y'all see soul with the garden y'all see me doing the training y'all see big a doing the training y'all see him one in the woods y'all see jt taking care of what he can take care of y'all see 601 with the biggest yard in the camp y'all see big hill breeding more than any of us in the camp y'all see the work and that's why i really gotta give i really gotta give y'all these words because before we get into the dogs tonight we want to talk about the man in the arena in my Bushi Dre uh, terminology, the dog is the equivalent of the samurai's katana or the sword. So when Soul says, keep your blade sharp and your defense tight, you got to keep them dogs sharp. Now, when you're sharpening a blade, you know what I'm saying? You got to take it as blade oil. You have to sharpen it in an appropriate way because the wavy lines on the katana are known as the hamon. Now, there's clay put on the backside of the correction. There's clay put on 
the hamon side or the hamo of the blade to harden it more. It's called differential hardening of steel. So on the front side of samurai swords, the good ones, there's these wavy lines. That's heated up with clay to make it hotter than the spine of the uh, of the katana. Now the spine is meant to be more flexible, but the blade is meant to be a harder type of steel for slashing. However, having that flexible spine allows that blade not to break when it comes into being vibrated or, or hit against other metals, or other types of steel. All right, that's called differential hardening. And as I pull up this uh, right here, brother Solo, brother Big A, y'all got anything to cook on on that, on that uh, little uh, statement I just gave y'all? No, sir, that was well put. All right, now I'm trying. I'm trying my dang to find this dang on uh, speech because all right, this is this is the central thought of today's video, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Because I know some ladies in the chat, man, salute y'all just getting in here, brother White Chocolate. What's good, big dog? I'm gonna need you to come through in a little bit because on tonight's episode we're gonna cover some working dogs, and uh, you you have information I don't have. Shouts out to Sir Kennels as well. Um, but check this out, y'all. These are the words of Teddy Roosevelt and. Uh, they couldn't ring truer in the dog game. It is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly who errs, who comes short again and again. Shortcoming, but who does actually strive the deeds. Correction, let me let me fix myself, y'all. I skipped the line, all right. Who errs again and again. And when he comes short again and again, because of the effort without error and the shortcomings, but he actually does strive to do great deeds. He knows great enthusiasms the great devotions, he spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end triumph of high achievement. And at worst, if he fails, he fails while daring greatly so that his place shall never be with those poor and timid souls who will neither know victory nor defeat. Teddy Roosevelt, y'all. Amen. Yeah. Them tree huggers can't mess with us on that, yo. They can't do nah, it. Man. They can't do it. No. Nah. And the warrior spirit. It, it, and it's crazy because uh this episode is gonna be about working dogs. Uh the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna pass the mic to you, brother Soul, you brother Big A. Y'all in the chat, please, please, please keep it active. If you feel so inclined, leave your thoughts, and as I can read them, I'll read them on the screen as well. But what is, and this is not breed specific, by the way, y'all. However, y'all know I'm an APPT guy, but this is not breed specific. What is a working dog to you? Uh, working dog. I mean, a dog that is uh, bred for a specific task and able to perform it, those deeds um, spiritedly uh, and uh, uh, at, at a major high clip. That's, you know, uh, I'll keep it brief and I'll shoot that to you, brother Big A. Yeah, I agree. Uh, working dogs is a dog that has a, that's been bred for a specific purpose, you know, um, uh, specifically like, per se, a certain job, you know, um, <clears throat> like the Doberman Pinscher. It was, uh, that was one of the only dogs that was really uh, bred for specific protection. He was bred to protect the bill collector in the, uh, I want to say the thirties or whatever, cause they were having so many issues, uh, with people, <laughs> with people, uh, whooping on the bill collector and giving the bill collector issues, man. So, you know, each dog has a specific purpose. I can't remember what the other dog was that they bred in the thirties for, um, <clears throat> for uh, the uh, warehouse factories um, on catching vermin, you know, catching rats and all the little vermin that they had. It's a small dog. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, yeah. 
What well, country of origin? Uh, U.S. Right here in okay. America. Yeah. Because you know, in the in the the factories and uh and uh there were a yeah. lot of you know a lot of uh, they they couldn't it, it's hard to control the the mice and rats and all that stuff especially back in the day so oh, they yeah. bred, so they you know they had a dog that would uh catch them better than the cats would so <clears throat> i just can't remember the name of it. yes sir yes sir hey man uh i want to talk about working dogs a lot tonight and also i want to show y'all a clip this is shouts out to uh twin two Last night, Twin Two went in. He said some things that needed to be said, and um, this is my response to what Twin had to say. Check this out. Are oh, you want some of this man? Huh? No. <laughs> Get up off your ass! I don't know why you came down here messing with these folks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, they got in the car and bumped out. Man, we was rolling. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. That shouts out, man. Love the Mike and Mo, man. Hey, uh, because that like understood uh the box is a form of work, man. You know what I'm saying? It is a form of work, and uh, uh you know, uh no, you know, um I mad love to my brothers who, who keep it Jeep, uh be safe, do your thing, but uh keep your circle, keep your circle, uh keeping squares about your circle, my brothers. Um, yeah. Now uh I do got a clip of some work and stuff. Uh, if you don't like graphic content, you don't like working dogs, this episode is probably not the episode for you. All right, I'm just going to put that out there, all right? Um, but uh, as far as schooling a working dog, uh, Brother Toyo, I had a disagreement with him on another live, and uh, I wanted to show y'all exactly why I he, he kind of opened my mind up to think about some things. I'm going to show y'all the, the schooling process or a very quick snippet of a schooling process of a dog getting schooled on a hog. Like I said, if you have a weak constitution, this is not the episode for you. Yeah, man. man, and that was that wasn't even American Pit Bull Terrier. That was a little, a uh, little like a little uh, Jag Terrier or something like that, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, look like a a, a Patterdale or a Yag. Yeah, yeah. Hey, my man, my man John Kramer said, "Work, son." Yes, uh, sir. And let me get this comment by Brother Michael Schrader. He said, "A working dog to me is a dog specifically bred to work, whether it's herding dog or oh, excuse me, whether it's herding dogs." Hunting dogs or box dogs, all working dogs, in my opinion. Amen to that, my brother. Everything in game, but if, if it has a specific task and it does it well, because uh, every dog can sit, but that, that don't mean they're a working dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. I would say high level obedience, I would put in there. Uh, being bred from working lines, if it still has the physical abilities to do the work, I don't take away from it. But when you breed things that lose their functionality, that's when you're breeding away from working dog and you're starting to get into designer breeding. Uh, I'm not going to speak on designer breeds because I don't own, nor, will I do, nor do I plan to own a designer breed. Oh, yeah. He said, and enjoy what they do. Yeah, man. Uh, so to me, that the reason why I wanted to show that scene was, all right, you saw that little dog going there, and then you see uh, the different types of working dogs. I'm going to speak about what I have heard about because the only thing I've done is really bite work, so I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here in, in front and and I, and I, and uh, if I put the link in the chat, I'm only letting certain people on here because if you were here Sunday, y'all know that I had a uh, a guy get in a guy infiltrated the the infiltrated the chat and yeah. Also, if another dog man in the ch if I if I decide to let you in here, if you can't show your face and you can't be verified by another dog man in the chat to speak on your behalf, uh, you need to keep coming back to the show so people can know who you are. But um, you have to be verified by, by by a dog man from the chat or by a brother from the panel. Uh, there is no more. There is no more uh, new guys getting they getting their rocks off on this channel. Um, it just went it went sour Sunday, and I and I'm I'm done with that. You know. Uh, so yeah, you might want to you might want to make sure that you uh that your pedigree check out in the chat. 
Student for Life salute. Um, so yeah, uh, now I'm about to show y'all what a finished working dog, what I think a finished working dog should look like. Once again, if you have a weak constitution, this is not the episode for you. Go ahead and, and, and go to a channel like, um, what's that dude name? Jake, uh, y'all know who I'm talking about, the, the, the dog trainer. Jake, he got the dog trainer's revolution. He don't, he believe in all that pure, purely positive dog training, uh, and it doesn't work. And he's getting sued now. That guy. Uh, I don't need to say his name because it don't matter. Um, but yeah, man, hog hunting schooled a schooled out dog. This is what I expect a schooled out dog to look like. Check it out. That's work. Yes, sir. Work. All right. Heart, tenacity, guts, determination. For sure. Self-preservation was not part of that equation. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> hey, Brother Supreme, what's good, big dog? Uh, man. Yeah, hey, br Brother John, I love that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, that dog, man, I thought he was dead. The first time I saw that video, I thought he was dead. Right. You know what <laughs> that was a good like, jump. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, solid and, twenty feet. And, and ain't no saying he didn't die after that. After that hunt, he was just so driven. You know, um, that's why I wanted to show that for my brother uh, Big Toyo, because uh, to me that dog showed a a, a degree of gameness. I'm not gonna say it, it's uh, the the you know. The OG gamers, but that there's a degree. Of, look, I, I done woke him up. Hey, so tell me you got the uh the, the stone cold thing. You know what I'm talking about? The, uh I got you. Yeah, brother Toyo in the building. Oh no. God damn, we got our world famous big Toyo. He's coming in here to kick all you son bitches asses. What? <laughs> <laughs> Toyo, what's up, bro? Salute, salute. What's happening? What's yeah, happening? Yo, yo. My brother. Same old same. Same old same. Yeah, bro. Did you see that clip before you came in? VV. Man, don't tell me you on that McDonald's Wi-Fi today, bro. No, 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 bro. I missed it, though. I missed it. Was it fire? What happened? Hey, I'm going to show it again, y'all. Uh, this this for any of y'all who might have missed it or just need to see some some ridiculous work. Hey, Brother Toyo, this is, this is the build off your uh, your Monday Night Live right here, bro. Check this out. Yes, man, sir. that was about a three-story drop. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. man. You had time to count it. But Toyo, uh, I'm gonna let you cook, bro. The first question was asked to the chat and to the panel was um, what is a working dog to you? Uh, a working dog is a dog that is uh structurally sound and temperamentally sound. Uh and is willing to handle the task that you put in front of him. Yes, sir. And um, I wanted to comment one, uh, cause man, that video you did with, with Pop was live, bro. And um, you said something that, that really uh, sat well with me. You missed it. We had a, a, a Patterdale or a Jack Terry that was getting schooled on a hog. And you were saying about how the hog will thrash him. And at one point during that clip, you couldn't even see the dog no more. It was just, a, it was just dust and smoke. And, you know, he was getting shook out. 
But that little dog, you know, had the heart. He was a working dog. And there's actually a bay dog in the pen with him. And the bay dog didn't even touch the pig. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, for all y'all, I'm going to start off with hog hunting. And then we're going to work through some different things uh, specific to our, our breed that we all share. We all love in different ways. The American Pit Bull Terrier. Um, and something that was also brought to my attention by a lot of y'all brothers was uh, the dogs that do the hog hunting have to have a certain level of, of smarts. Um, they have to know to go to the snout or to the ear. And um, I don't know if all, even if they're game, I don't know if they will, I don't know if that game is will get them through a hunt like that with, with the hog, you know, uh, jumping off cliffs and, and, you know, turn around and beating them into, beating them into a pulp. Uh, I did an interview with Voodoo Hog Doggers uh, last year, and she was saying that she she loses about seven dogs a year. Uh, yeah. Shouts out Ty602. Welcome to the chat. And in, in order to get a wrench and be accepted, you got to make sure you're showing up in not just this chat, but the other chats. Uh, you got to stay silent. We don't do no hating. We don't do no, we don't do no, no judgment over here, man. It's this a peaceful zone as long as you keep it peaceful. This is the Shogun's army. Welcome. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, so with those, well, then they were saying they go through seven dogs a year. And I was briefing on maybe two or three weeks ago that with people like that, that's the kind of people who I want my dogs to go to, somebody who's gonna work them and actually test my stock. And if it lives two years on a yard like that, then it's worthy for me to bring it back into my line. You know, so those y'all who work, you know, you you hunt, you do the hogs, the peccaries, the coyotes. If my dog can survive your program and it meets your culling process in a in a legal manner, then that's what's going to get bred back into my line. You know, um, I do training myself. I don't need anybody else. Let me rephrase that. That sounds very, very pretentious. Uh, I would like for other trainers to get my dogs, but I'd rather for people who have skill sets that I don't have to test my dogs in different ways to check their durability. There's washes here in Arizona that are, that are as steep as that cliff I just saw, and I'm telling you right now, um, I don't. I'm not jumping down one of those cliffs to go pull the dog out. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, mad love, mad love to y'all brothers who get in the bush with your dogs. Uh, but I would rather hunt on. Um, let me explain to y'all how 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 you can how you can set up your hunt land in Carolina. Uh, pine tree is usually growing rows, so you can put up, uh, you can set it up where you have what, what's called tracks, and you can get out there with an ATV with a dog on an ATV and kind of ride the hog down and let them off from your or your side by side or ATV to, to to hit the hog. That's my preferred style of, of hog dogging in the Carolinas. Out here where I'm at, the terrain is comp completely different, and there's elevation differences. So um, my dogs weren't even necessarily bred for the kind of terrain I'm at right now. So I'm gonna have to give it some Arizona dog men. And uh, there's some great Arizona dog men, you know. Uh, oh, I hate to say this, but Pat Patrick did a lot of his campaigning out here. Uh, Brother Bert Sorrells did his campaigning out here. And there's no no diss to Pat Patrick, but there's a lot of controversy behind our Brother Pat. And um, but while he was in his heyday and he was doing his thing, a lot of that stuff happened out here in Arizona. Also, if y'all didn't catch Bucks live on Monday, he gave a he gave a, a homage. He paid homage to the to the legendary West Coast dog man. Make sure y'all check that out. Because if you're on the West Coast, that's going to be a very, very good, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? A very, very good uh, hieroglyph of where to go and look for the historical, uh, historically great dogs on the West Side. On the East Coast, you can go pretty much throw a rock on any East Coast state and find you some good dogs out there. You know what I'm saying, man? So make sure that y'all are linking with these other channels because we, whether we want to or not, we're a conglomerate. You know, uh, we all share the same blood if we have the American Pit Bull Terrier at some point. Everybody going to have some red boy. Everybody gonna have some bolio. Everybody gonna have their their Jeep Red Boy Rascal. Everybody gonna have their Kobe. You know, uh, their Lightner, their Fitzwater, whatever. So um, yeah, man. Make sure y'all are getting into the community. Make sure y'all liking all the videos. Make sure you're leaving comments on things you want to see in the videos as well, because uh, most of us are gonna look at the comments whether we tell y'all or not, and we're gonna tailor our our speeches and what we're talking about to what the community wants to hear from our perspective. Uh, we're all personalities. We are all we all have feelings, you know what I'm saying? I talk about mine a little bit more than other people, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I feel like I got diarrhea in the mouth right now. So my brothers, if y'all got anything y'all want to cook on, go ahead and cook on it while we talk about these hog dogs. <clears throat> Shout out to Bucks Man. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, those people that really uh be out there hog hunting, man, they be running through some dogs on a regular basis, man. And that's uh 
that's a fact if you you know out here in texas uh they have a lot of um a lot of ranches and uh clearing out hogs is like a job it's like an actual it's an actual skill you know uh about 10 15 years ago they were paying 50 head 50 dollars uh for each hog man i had a uh buddy who uh him and his family used to go out there clearing out hogs and uh said some days they be getting 20 30 hogs in a day so you know yeah <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, I just like it as a uh as a historically speaking, this uh past time of with the dogs, you know, uh, just good old times of going in the woods with your dogs or whatever, whatever. But like, you know, it's just always looking for something to do, a, another job for my dog to do, you know what I mean? So like any jobs like that, uh eradicating problem animals and stuff yeah. like that you know is is just another job for the for the hounds to do and for you for yourself as an owner if you're interested yeah yeah sir yes sir amen um as far as the hog dogging goes uh i've seen a lot of people that i, I don't even know if i would have the facilities to properly school mine on a hog right now um, so if y'all in the Arizona area, New Mexico, uh, Colorado, you know what I'm saying? And you got land, you got some homes on your property for schooling. How at your boy, man. Um, if you don't want it to be on the internet, it won't be on the internet, but I would, I want to show my dog schooling. So let me put that disclaimer out there too, man. Um, I want to, I, I like for people to see how I'm building my line and that's not a, it's not a flex. It's a, it's a a visual and and a recordable reference for the work that's been put into this line and like i said it's for the man in the arena so even if he's not grabbing the hog's ear or the snout like like some of y'all dogs might be doing it's uh it's important oh brother jake he said get with voodoo and come and come to the texas dre hey so um voodoo and them in, in east texas they uh brother jake i will i will rock with them once or twice but Voodoo and them, they love running through sticker briars. They do not mind ripping the skin off their flesh at all. And a lot of them Texas hog dog uh, brothers uh, like that. Like I was saying again, though, Brother Jake, in the Carolinas, you can create tracks or like uh, you can create certain areas of your property that are more open so the dogs can get them out in, open, in an open area and kind of just uh, wreck them, you know. And... Uh, yeah, man, I appreciate that, Bottom Boy Kennels. And salute to all y'all brothers who showing y'all showing y'all stuff in the digital dog show. Uh, but yeah, man, as far as me, uh, I think for hog hunting long term, especially this winter, y'all, uh, I'm gonna be doing some camping out well, with me and the dogs here in Arizona, out in the BLM lands. But uh, I'll probably be doing bow hunting. Uh, and once I once I hit it with a broadhead, uh, I'll send the dogs in once once it's wounded to clean them up. That's my style of hunting. And just like bulldog, and there's not one way to bulldog, there's not one proper way to hunt. Uh, I prefer hunting from a blind, and I prefer sending the dog in there to win. I want my dogs to win because when I hunt, I hunt for food, not necessarily for sport or eradication. So uh, I don't mind not going for the biggest hog in the pack personally because I want to bring that dog back home and be able to hunt him again the same season if I need to. That's a personal preference. For those of y'all who want to go get the biggest hog and see what your dog can do, salute to you, brother. But once again, let me play y'all that clip. <laughs> Just let y'all know how I feel about oh, you that. Want to me? Huh? No. <laughs> yeah, man. I just want to catch me, you know, a hundred pound or 120 pound all butcher him uh, and feed my family and feed my dogs, man. You know, that's that's the way to go for me. That's my personal preference. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. If y'all like them bigger, if y'all like them smaller. But uh, the javelinas out here are, are are a great way to test your test your dog out as far as his hunting prowess. Uh, what y'all brothers think about that? Agreed. Them javelinas, they they tough too. I salute. I salute. I've never seen one before, other than you know what you showed me. Yeah, it's crazy though because uh, I thought they were pig, you know, uh, coming from like a descendants of pigs, but they actually a rodent.
Yeah. And it's another clip. I mean, I'm going to upload it while we're talking, y'all. So, but another thing I want y'all brothers to realize is I was reading some comments on Sunday's video, and one of the comments was telling me that um, if they needed to carry a 380 and a Tanto in a backpack to walk their dog, they would move out of the community. Let me explain something to you. A lot of these people who make these trolling comments, they say things that they don't even understand. Um, so a lot of us have to live in a certain proximity to our job because we're working class citizens. Uh, salute, brother rabbit man. And I'm not about to run about my community just because uh, there's things that are a little bit more dangerous. Um, I don't live in the hood, but I don't live in the in the hills either. You know what I'm saying? Um, I consider myself middle of the road, working class American. And because of that, I wanted to, to express that to that brother that said that, that that 380 that I have, uh, he said he, he want to carry a 45 or something like that. That's cool, man. But the best gun to have is the one that's on you. Yep. You don't know you need it till you need it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I want y'all brothers to think about this. If, if somebody run up on you and you ain't got your and you ain't got your piece on you and they pull out a 22, uh, how many of y'all would actually run up on that man and try to fight him even with that 22? You know what I'm saying? Just being real. Yeah. Uh, that's not that's that's not to me that's not that's not a that's not a good move you know i don't think that proves gameness um in the in the human being you know to to, to value life and value survival you know yeah. not only that when you see when when you out there with them coyotes and you see a coyote snatch up a child or something you ain't got nothing nothing in your hands to do anything about it you over there fighting with your hands you know it's mm -hmm. crazy yeah, man. Yeah, and then, uh, go ahead, Rubzo. No, I said that's a fact. That twenty-two, you, you gonna be uh trying to tear that joke up right then. Yeah. Mm hmm Hey, that made me think about uh Harlem Knights when Arsenio <laughs> Hall was trying to get Eddie Murphy. Stop shooting that little shit. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, yeah. man. And, and then for those y'all who don't know, go ahead, bro. Oh, that 22 might not kill you today. It might not kill you tomorrow, but two, three years from now, if that bullet stuck in you, it might, you know what I'm saying? It it move around. Yeah, man. Hey, who did, Brother Supreme said I love 25 cows. Hey, that Lorcan. <laughs> man, I ain't seen a 25 in a minute. My bro, I don't think they make them no more, man. I think you better already have it, bro. You know, hey, that, that comes from a specific place in time in history, bro. But uh, yeah, so he shot me in my pinky toe, bro. Brother Ty, six oh two, man, you gotta have some hood in you, man. You, you caught it, you caught that reference, bro. Hey, yes, sir. Oh, so you want to shoot me in my pinky toe, huh? <laughs> hey, brother John Kramer said that little <laughs> shit killed Junior. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stop shooting a little shit. That three hundred eight LRP is nasty, bro. That's nasty, but how how far do you think I'm making in my community with an AR on my back or an AR-15 or AR-10 on my back? But I can carry you, know, <laughs> you know, I can carry that 380 in my pocket. You don't even know I got it. You know, um, he said, can a coyote bred to a domestic dog? Uh, can, a coy can a coyote breed to a domestic dog? Yes. He, uh, he said, I thought no, but Google says yes. I believe it can. Um, that people breed yes. wolves, certain breeds. Certain breeds can carry them, certain breeds cannot. Uh, so I would assume the coyote is close enough in that, in that genus to be able to do the same same type of uh, breeding. Yes. Uh, I'm. I, if y'all brothers wonder what I'm doing right now, I'm actually downloading a, another video because I want to show y'all another working another working class dog. Uh, it's a it's a giant schnauzer. And the reason why I wanted to show this video is brother Jake, uh, all y'all brothers from the Texas, Arizona, New Mexico area. I don't know if y'all noticed, but they spotted the third uh, American Jaguar in the last five years, and uh, it's here in Arizona. Um, there's actually videos on people's ring door cameras of the Jaguar. So the Jaguar is migrating from South America back into the Americas. Uh, so the brother was asking me why I would need to carry a gun on my walk, and that's what I was trying to get into was um, there's there's always mountain lions in Arizona. Uh, I've seen cougar prints, and I'll start showing y'all more of the tracks and stuff that I see on my, my regular tracks through my neighborhood. Um, for these animals, you know, and it's very important that uh, those y'all who have game dogs understand that just because that dog is game and will and will and will will give its life for you, that might not be enough. 
when that when that when that cougar or that or that ja American jaguar, which is considered the most deadly animal in in the, in the Americas, uh, even more so than the polar bear or the walrus, um, this animal can kill you and drag you up a tree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a it's not it's not a weak animal at all. It's very very closely uh, very very closely and sim similarly to a leopard. And uh, that's a larger a version of a leopard. Yes. So um. For those of y'all who, who are unaware of that, it's uh, it's extremely important that you know your area. And I and that's what I was talking about with the hand walk challenge uh, on Sunday's video was um I want y'all brothers to be safe because I'm I'm challenging y'all to do these things and I'm and I'm and I'm egging people on, but I'd be a fool not to give y'all the real. If you're in the south, southern Cali Baja California, Arizona, Ky uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, maybe even uh western Louisiana. There, there are three known Jaguars. Google it for yourself. I, I'll try to pull up a, a news clip from it, but um, seen here. Also, Texas has the most exotic wild animals uh, being kept in private homes. Tigers, lions, uh, all kind of stuff, yeah. man. So, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Brennan Starr said they also will jump in water and kill a gator. Yeah, Brennan Starr, I will Thanks. too. I, I actually had a video of me uh, running, on, running, on, uh, running up on a gator on my last fishing trip. Uh <laughs> Sister McFarland said, uh, yeah, no, it's a no for me. No taking, no okay. Arizona for me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, shout out to Louisiana. Um, I lived in the 318 for a couple years. Uh, what's the area code? 318, stand up. Yeah, man, 318, stand up in a major way. What was that, central Louisiana? 318, uh, not, it's actually uh, kind of western Louisiana, uh, Streetport, Bossier area, specifically Street. Oh, okay, Bossier, okay. And, um, oh, Monroe, hey, crazy story, bro. Okay, so when I when I got sent to Louisiana to join the Air Force, um, I leaned up with some brothers from, uh, from Barksdale Air Force Base, and they had family up in Monroe. And when I went up there, of course, I've always been in the dogs. So I asked them, what kind of dogs do y'all run down here? And uh, I was like, y'all got Red Boy Jocko, y'all got Jeep. You know what they told me? Take a guess. First person to get it in the chat, $5 in the cash app. Guess Ooh, what kind of dog bro. they run in Monroe, Louisiana? White dogs? Hold on. So you can't say it because if you, if you said Oh, my fault. I, I, that yeah. was a guess. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Hold on. They say BBK. They say it. No. So they, they named it as an old school bloodline, y'all. And uh, so, Brother Jake, it wasn't White Stab when I was down there, bro. And it wasn't Wild Side. It, it blue, hey, three, three, uh, three, three, zero game dogs, 330 game dogs. You got it. They screamed Boudreaux when I was in, when I was in Monroe. This is 2009. That's that was what I was about to there. say. I, yeah. I almost said it and I stopped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, three three thirty game dogs. Uh, if you find me on, on Facebook right now, there's five dollars coming your way, bro. But yeah, I wanted to shout out to that brother from the three one eight. I stayed in Bolger Parish, not Caddo Parish. Uh, Caddo Parish territory. And um, it's crazy because uh, when I was down there, I was only nineteen. So what ended up happening was I couldn't go to none of the places. Man, Boosie performed that year uh, down on the Riverwalk, and. Uh, you know, he was at, he performed at, po uh, excuse me, Coco's. And then uh, there was this place called the Funny Bone. And that was the only place I could get into. And it, if y'all, if y'all from Shreveport, Bossier area, Caddo or Bossier Parish, um, y'all know that there was a brother that got killed at the Funny Bone and then they stopped letting uh, 21 and under get in there too. So um, I was down there doing that whole summer, man. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy, you know. Uh, but those brothers have some good, some well bred Boudreaux dogs up in that area. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Another show gonna hear so warm it up. We woke him up. Uh oh, danger uh -oh. man in the building, danger man in the building, solo but connected in the building. What's good, big dog? What's good, brother? You all here? God damn right. We got solo in the goddamn building. Better get ready. He's bringing the heat. <laughs> hey, can y'all hear me? Hey, what's happening? Nothing much, brothers, man. I had to tap in. You know what's going on, man. Shoot, can't, can't call, call it my father. Father. <laughs> yes, Hey, y'all brothers motivate me, man. You know, don't think a nigga ain't paying attention to them, to them, to them. Uh, you know, from early morning messages and all of that, man. Yes, sir. 
Hold on, hold on, y'all. Let me pause y'all real quick. So I got your message, bro. I love you, big bro. Uh, stay solid. Stay, stay gangster. Keep that blade sharp and that defense tight. Uh, already, already. Hey, much, much love. I'm a rock with y'all, brothers. So I gotta handle some business. Salute. All right. One love. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Peace. Hey, my so, part about, my so part hold on, Sunday, hold on. Dre. Uh, I had to get on out of there, but brothers were speaking, and I couldn't give a proper exit, so I'm like, man, I gotta get on out of here, man. I wanted to uh, give a proper exit, but I ain't want to interrupt nobody speaking either, you know, especially brother schoolboy, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Hold on, so I want to tell you something right now, while I, while I got you here, and all y'all on, in the chat, the 0341 is killing my ass, and that nigga Big A don't <laughs> give a fuck. That nigga Big A be like, did you, did you feed the beast today? Nigga, I, yeah. I the beast the beast is dead, okay? Like the beast is oh, dying. <laughs> so nah, I, gotta so I, I gotta get I'm off of here. I gotta get off here at 9 9 30. I'm still scratching and uh yeah. I'm taking leave uh starting next week, y'all, to get ready for the digital dog show and everything. Uh that'll be airing not next Wednesday, but next Thursday. I'm not gonna air it during Game Dog Talk because I watch Game Dog Talk. I'm not paying ten dollars a month to a Patreon and not watching the live. That's stupid, okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, nah, big A man, I, I like Solo was saying, bro. I appreciate y'all, brothers, because y'all hold me accountable. The chat holds me accountable. Uh, brother Dickie Foster, brother Supreme, brother Toyo, y'all, brothers. Every morning when I when I look in there, I'm gonna see them three names if nobody else liking it and commenting, you know what I'm saying? Of it, and, and mind y'all, East Coast for y'all, East Coasters, it's six o'clock in the morning or six forty one in the morning for y'all, but that three o'clock ain't no joke. But this brother, big A, yeah. don't give nothing, no, give no fucks about my feelings. Um, okay. I'd be in there damn near wanting to cry some mornings at 341. Uh, some mornings yeah. I sit on the edge of the bed for 30 fucking minutes before I get out of the bed, but I get out of the bed. Bro, if you only knew, I sometimes I have to talk myself into it. I, I you know, the first thing I say, I'm talking to myself. Okay, eyes open, put your feet on the floor. Put your feet on the floor. Stand up. You know what I'm saying? I would like, I haven't missed a day since October. Seven days a week. Yeah, Big A gave me a motivational speak, man. That had a big impact on me. You know, yeah, man. It uh, it really did, bro. You know, and it's gonna be more uh, accountability. You know, what I'm saying it's gonna be more communication. It's yeah. gonna be more all of that. You know, what I'm saying very, very soon, my brother. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying, but I'm working right now. As we yeah. speak, I work two of them today and walk one. Yes, you know, sir. So you know. Uh, Getting getting it back to to that mind state, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of growth, you know. Yeah, man. Because that's what we're about, growth. Yeah. You know, and you know, I'm growth and development, but not even as an organization, just as 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 men. You know, yeah. the Shogun Army. You know what I'm saying? It's about honor, righteous conduct. You know, there's certain things that I that I might even see in even in a chat room that before I might have react to, but then I'm thinking about how does this reflect upon the Shogun Army? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm man. just gonna stay out of it. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna be yeah. a solid observer. You yeah, know? man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. so I'm glad you said that, bro. Brother AQ, man, salute to you, OG, bro. Welcome to the chat, bro. I know I do some things that, that ain't indicative of, of the old school ways, bro, but I, I, I respect you, OG. Salute to you, brother AQ Henry Kendall's in the building, man. Salute. Yeah, man. Hey, Solo, bro, like, I don't think y'all brothers understand, man. You, BV, JT, Big A, M1, bro, y'all brothers, man, like, like some mornings, y'all a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> some mornings, y'all are a lot. And yeah. I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean, okay, I want the chat to understand this because when you're dealing with a team and everybody's the alpha, um, there you can deal with betas all the time because they, they they bitches straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like you can deal with betas however you want to deal with betas. But when you're dealing with an alpha who every stupid thing you say, if if one brother don't check you, the next brother, if we move, shout out to you two, you another one. If one brother don't check you, brother Jake, another one. Mike Dan, another one. All y'all alphas, y'all don't understand how hard it is to deal with another alpha because, okay, at work, not only do I outrank everybody, but I'm naturally alpha-minded, right? So when I'm a, I forget that there's people who will check you. And a lot of us forget there's people who will check you 
and we're not used to being checked because 90 percent of the time most of y'all in this chat wherever you go you're the alpha now you take all of us and put us into a conglomerate and then we all like the same kind of dogs and these are competitive dogs too now imagine how my brother's texting me in the morning you know what i'm saying oh bro y'all brothers ain't working the dog oh bro good morning nigga, nigga yeah. i wasn't ready to yet <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like that it's like that you know then solo yeah. showing his yard his yard clean so I'm like, oh man like i want to show my yard too now i got to go work twice as hard you know what i'm saying like, but but yeah. but big a always tell me this man he always say if you hang around six broke people, you'll be the seven. If you hang around five broke people, you'll be the six. If you hang around five millionaires, you'll be the six. But look at this chat and look how many dog men y'all hanging around. Man, come on. Yeah, man. No, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you, bro. Go ahead and cook my brother. No, you ain't interrupt me, bro. We having a conversation. You spoke your piece, you know, but it is, it is a wonderful thing, man, you know. The digital uh, dog community, which is actual dog man, you know, uh, these are actual people, you know, and and this is something that allows us to connect, you know, say on a nationwide and the worldwide level, you know, and it's a beautiful thing, man, you know. I saw something uh, negative pertaining to the digital dog show uh, today in the, in the comments, in some comment I was reading, and I'm just sitting back thinking, like, wow. You know, to come against something so positive and righteous, you know, you got an agenda. You know what I mean? But you know, it's 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 a beautiful thing, man. You know, some solid brothers. You know, yes, brothers sir. that make you want to step up. Brothers that make you that 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 inspire you to do better. You know what I'm saying? Even with the hounds and and, and it transcends past the hounds. You know. Yeah. Hey man, so let me address that because it, it's it, you know what I'm saying it's always going to be somebody who doesn't like the change because they think it takes away from what is, and that's why I'm glad brother Wing Moon break, he broke it down. That's why I've got his comment up there. Um, it's different lanes and link with people who are in your lane. That individual who spoke negatively, I'm not in his lane, but he's he he came in our lane without putting on his turning signal, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on just a second, bro. Um, let me, let me answer this question real quick. So, uh, brother said, Dre, if you want a good video, look up doghouse video stouts, boss dog on YouTube. Oh, is that, is that a hog hunt video, bro? Cause if it is, I, I definitely will try to pull it up. Just keep in mind that I can't show it, uh, consistently all the way through for a fair use policy. But, uh, yeah, man, that's something I can pull up. And for those of y'all brothers dropping pedigrees, drop the ped number instead because when I try to click the link, it just navigates me to the uh, to the home page of um, Game Dog, uh, excuse me, uh, online peds. Yeah, man. But, uh, nah, and uh, Solo, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I, I, I'm glad that you understand rep what representing a brand is like because uh, – it is different it's difficult there, there's times where i have to bite my tongue on things that if i get my opinion it dishonors what i stand for and it dishonors those who believe in me you know what i'm saying yeah. and and that's that's the that's the goal is to honor my mother and my father so that my days in this earth may be long you know um so when i think about things like that man it, it gives me a whole different perspective on 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 what what's right and what's wrong you know because i represent i represent something different all right uh Man, y'all got me. Y'all got me with diarrhea them out, but I gotta, I gotta cook on this, bro. I gotta cook on this. Um, okay. So I look at myself as the Arsenio Hall of the channels. I look at myself as the, as the, 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 the good, the good young bro. Okay. You got all the brothers who put in work and they did all this stuff, and they fought. They marched. They got bit by the German shepherds. You know what I'm saying? They sat on the buses and, and they did all these things. So that I could have a chance to speak here, so that I could so I could talk about these things and, and get knowledge directly from them. You know, schoolboy, the twins, they come, they come to the chat. You know, it's it's not like I'm just like firing about things I, I don't know. And if I don't know it, I can just go get the OGs who who did it and know it to come over here and give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot a lot of those guys that, that don't like it, it's not them disagreeing with me. They just want that same connection with the OGs. 
But the problem is some of their characters are flawed. And the light that my my followers and myself that we bring, some of our lights disrupt their darkness. Yeah. And instead of waking up and letting their own light shine to, to empower other brothers who are suffering the same way they're suffering, all they know is hurt. That's their normal. I was blessed enough yeah. to know peace at an early age. And by knowing peace at an early age, uh, I can bring peace to others who, who want peace. You know, and those who don't want yeah. peace, they may not be at a point where they can handle it. You know, you only give milk to babies and you give you save steaks for the adults. Some of these brothers are not ready for steak yet. Yeah, and then on top of that, Patrick Beck Davis said, choose your enemies wisely. And then Sun Tzu said, choose your battles wisely. You know, so I mean, like everything ain't worth, you know, your energy. Everything ain't worth giving giving it your time. You know, each person has their own little thing that they battling with. It just so happened a lot of people like to see a, you know, like to, like you say, put darkness on on other part on somebody else's light. That's what you know. That's where they get their energy from. And when you feed into that, that's when you know. You giving them exactly what they want. I got too much stuff going on in my personal life to be worrying about what, <laughs> you know, doing these other little nonsense ass, nonsense battles. Or, you know what I'm saying? Going back and forth with the with, with somebody who really just want wants some attention, wants some action. So, you know. <clears throat> yeah, man. And I don't think they realize, like, uh, I'm a roster man. I'm not a, I, I can't smoke weed because I'm in the military. I can't grow hair because I'm in the military, but I'm a Rasta man. It's one love, one heart, I and I. What makes me greater, what makes you greater, makes us greater. And um, also, it's Martin Luther. Like, I live my life, I live my life only looking towards greatness, if that makes sense. So, Martin Luther King said, You cannot combat hate with hate. You know, you can't drive out. You can't drive out darkness with darkness. Only light can do that. You can't drive out hate with hate. Only love can do that. You know, so when I'm like, like everybody I listen to is great. All y'all brothers, when y'all comments in the chat, you're you're great. You know, and if, if that's my if my average is greatness, then I gotta be good. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just what it is. And so, bro, like I got nothing but love for those brothers. They're gonna grow, they're gonna prosper. And one day when they're when they're at the top of their at their pinnacle. They will see people that were just like them and they'll be able to reach them because they understand what it takes to be that person that just can't accept change. Everybody reaches their own level at their own time. All right. Uh, shout out to Cold Mountain Bulldogs, our newest member. Tip, tip. Hey. hey. Salute to you, my brother. Salute. All right, man. Uh, on, on behalf of y'all in the chat, man, uh, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about this pedigree real quick, bro. Uh and we're we gonna just cook for y'all tonight, man. I'm not about to I'm not about to cut y'all short tonight. I'm not gonna just do a one hour show. I know Brother Big A said he got a roll in a little bit. Brother Big A, yes, thank sir. you for coming through. You have to dip. I'm gonna make sure you got your, your exit strategy ready before I start uh spilling about this, this pedigree. Okay, yeah, man. Y'all take it easy, man. Love y'all, man. And uh man, see y'all at the digital dog show, man. Gonna be live, live and live and direct, and then I'll catch y'all on Wednesday, man. Much love. Much love, love, salute, salute, salute. All right. yes, sir. All right, y'all. Right, this is Shetty's Rambo Pit Five Kennels. Shouts out to Pit Five. And if y'all let me let me put this disclaimer uh, any information we share about these pedigrees is simply for the edification and understanding what's behind the dogs of today. Additionally, please do not share pedigrees for somebody who is active. That that is that is the way of the Guaylo. That's the way of the Babylon. And we are not Babylonian. We're not Guaylo. We are none of those things. All right. We're simply here to educate ourselves on dog history and to learn about some bloodlines that you may not know about. All right. Um, so with that disclaimer out there, let's talk about this dog. All right. The sire is FPK's gunner. Uh, he's lit up. I'm not familiar with FPK's gunner, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go back in that fourth generation and start looking at these dogs if y'all know these dogs personally and y'all have personal stories you can drop it in the, um you can drop it in the chat if it's past tense the uh, notice statute limitations on it most statute limitations are at least seven years but it may, i'd rather be 15 or greater you know what i'm saying i'd rather be 15 years or greater because i'm not trying to put anybody in jeopardy all right 
I'm like just, just my education. I can get it privately. They got private school and they got public school. You know what I'm saying? This is public school right here. This is not this is you don't get private school knowledge at the public schools. You understand what I'm saying? You don't get private school knowledge at a public school. This is public school, right? This is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. We keeping it rated G over here, okay? Except for the language, all right? Um, so FPK's Gunner is off of FPK's Blade and FPK's Bad Bella. Uh, Blade is off of Lacefield's Doughboy and Firepower's Safari. And then Bella is off of Apex Firepower's Rocket and uh, FPK's Van Van. All right. I'm assuming FPK and firepower is the same thing, but uh, I'm not going to. That, that's, that's an assumption. And you know what assumptions do? They make a fool out of a ass out of you and me. And then uh, you got Milkman Stinger, one time winner. Zoller's Elvira uh, on top of McFarland, McFarland's Yo-Yo and McFarland's Honey Bun Eight, over Apex Pistol to Apex Sally, bred to uh, Thirsty's Soldier Boy to Little was that little ridge miss beastie i'm gonna hit i'm gonna hit this fourth generation and kind of look into the dogs behind these dogs and then we'll go into the to the damn side as well i'm also gonna post the link but once again new rule for the chat when i post the link m1 you ain't gotta worry about it. you know what i'm saying uh Wee moon dog man tv salute to you brother y'all ain't gotta worry about it if y'all know about these dogs and y'all can spill on them legally and safely uh viking family eli monster people like that who i've seen consistently in the chats like y'all don't have nothing to worry about the people who gonna have to worry about coming in here and just getting accepted onto the panel um, are gonna be the no. I'm not gonna say nobodies, but nobody knows you. Those people, you you can't just come over here anymore. You're gonna have to earn your right. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see you in, in Buck Chat and the Twins Chat, and you're gonna have to give comments and drop some kind of knowledge, showing that you know something about these dogs other than uh, regurgitated information. You know, show me a pedigree that you had. You know, something. Um, I don't need to know about your accolades because I'm not trying to expose nobody. I don't I don't want to know nothing to be, to be able to say nothing. Let's put it that way. I want plausible deniability for everything. I don't want to know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so we're going to check out Milkman Stinger, one-time winner. All right? Okay, so right in here, I'm starting to see names I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to see names I know. You know what I'm saying? Champion Newman's Buck, uh, three-time winner of Rom. I don't know Butcher Knife Kennels Kunta, but I've heard I've heard that name before, but I don't know nothing about it. All right. But I've heard that name Kunta before, uh, four-time winner. So obviously he's putting the work. That's champion Kunta. Let me not take away his title. And champion uh Newman's Buck. Uh Buck was bred to Butcher Knife's uh, Milo, and that's coming off of some Walker blood. Uh, Walker's T-Boy, Walker's Gina Jet, Walker's T-Boy, uh, J-Man's Crazy Trippy, Crazy Tippy. So this is the half sister, half, bre half brother breeding here right now. So, okay. So they're keeping their stuff tight. I got to look into this Walker's blood. Um, also, y'all, when I'm looking at this at the pedigree, I can't see the chat. So my brothers, interrupt me if y'all need to interrupt me if somebody's dropping information that's pertinent to the pedigree that's on the screen. Uh, so little Re Elise Reno, I've heard of, I've heard of Reno before. Dub CC's at uh, Aggie, I've heard of Aggie before too. Uh, Holland's Cherokee Chief, uh, I want to say that's Red Boy Blood. Let me look at that, make sure I don't want. But I'm wrong. That's Bully Son. Uh, Eli Three, I want to say is maybe it's a cat. I'm thinking about. I was thinking about Cadillac. Yeah, I'm thinking about Cadillac. Okay, Cadillac dog is a Red Boy dog. All right. Uh, Boyle's Dirty Mary, two time winner. Um, Bolio, I'm thinking. Let me make sure. Nope, it's Hank. Dog. Oh, Hank, Hank to Indian Bolio. Okay, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get on here and mess nothing up. I just want to make sure I'm giving y'all the information behind the dog. Uh, so we talking about the Bully Son Eli stuff to the Hank Bolio stuff. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is mouth, uh, gameness, wind, and wrestling ability with some smarts in there for this top portion of the pedigree right here. All right, for this top side. Um, could work for that hog hunting stuff we was talking about earlier. Uh, Walker's T Boy. Actually, I'll show you the WCC stuff too. Cherokee Chief, Walling's Bully Son stuff, same stuff. Dirty Mary again. Uh, Patrick Blood. And then you got the Burton Sank in there. All right. So we're, we're keeping it nice and we're keeping it nice and pretty up in here. Uh, very similar bloodlines with very similar qualities. 
that goes back to what schoolboy was saying uh the other day about keeping dogs together to have similar qualities yeah that dog that dog, that dog heavy queen of hearts that's heavy bulls dog right there yeah yeah one, the one thing i want to say about dirty mary is her phenotype is strong man i mean you got dogs to this day, that's popping out white heads and in the, the white eyes, or blue or blue or whatever you call it, and you can just look right in the pedigree and see up oh, that—that's where it's coming from. Yeah, you know, as far as the physical characteristics, she had a strong phenotype. And then, of course, when you start getting way back there, you got that Klaus, that Klaus blood, you know, that Fitzwater Goldie stuff. And we did an episode on Fitzwater, Fitzwater uh, Tudor, and a Lightner. So uh, make sure y'all go back and check that out. I want to say that was in January. Uh, and there's also some short videos, just uh, synopsis of it. If you don't want to watch three hours, we, just, we we broke it down to like a documentary style back in January. Make sure you check it out. All right. But yeah, so that's what this top side is looking like right here on uh, the Milkman Stinger stuff. And I want to go over here and look at the bottom side for Cherokee Kennels Wilma and see what that Bobby Jr. What that Bobby Jr. coming off of. Bolio. More Patrick stuff, Patrick Sater, Patrick Faith. All right, so Bolio, Patrick Blood, and then Bolio, Bolio with some Carver. But you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's common. You know what I'm saying? That, that's a common cross. Very common. Uh, I like what Brother Pro and Game Magazine was saying about the, the Triple Siege, too. You know, shouts out to Brother M1 for putting me on that video. Shouts out to Pro and Game Mag for putting out some good content. Uh, I don't always agree with how Pro deal with people. But uh, the brother's knowledgeable, and I'll never, I'll never, I'll never let how somebody delivers information stop me from getting the message. You know that that to me that's that's the, that's the flaw that's the flaw in character right there. To let to let somebody's delivery stop you from getting the information you need to better your program. Speaking of that uh, triple C's, man, Rick Ross had a group uh, triple C's. They had a song called White Sand that I liked it a lot, and every time I hear it. I think of one of my dogs that I had that I was getting ready back then, running him on the mill, weight pulling, all of that. And I used to listen to that song while I was doing that. So every time I hear that song, I think of that dog. Yes, sir. Salute, sir. salute. Salute. All right. So this is the this is on the fourth generation, uh, Brother Solo and Brother BV. This is on that fourth generation right here. More Patrick stuff. And there's, there's some G stuff down in here as well, which I think is dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to see what this Medusa dog is looking like. All right. So this right here is, if y'all know this stuff, please speak on it. I don't know. I, I'm not about to sit here and, 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 play, and, play, and play smart. You know what I'm saying? My head is only so big. You know, um, y'all know any of this stuff right here? No, I'm not familiar with none of them dogs. Go back to, uh, go to that Beaver's Frank, and let's see what he go back to. In the fourth gen on the top. Oh, boomerang dog. Yeah, man. Boomerang, boomerang over bolio on the bottom side. Or bolio over bo boomerang over bolio Patrick on the bottom side. And then boomerang to uh, boomerang carver on the top side. That's uh that's kind of nice, man. That's kind of nice. Yeah, definitely, and, uh, definitely know about them. Or did yeah, man, uh, great uh, shout out to Game Dog, Game Dog Talk. I, and y'all know I, I'm partial to this, to this color pattern right here, man. I'm not color struck, but I'm just partial to it. You know. Um, what dog? What, what dog is that, Drake? You got a big man. I can't see what it. Rubers Frank. Rubers Frank. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, and um, looking at these dogs, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of these that should have been lit up are not lit up, um, but. Respect to the brothers that didn't like it, because even Bully Son ain't lit up. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, shout out to the brothers who who post they stuff and keep it private. Uh, mad respect, but this pedigree has been seen thirty three thousand times. Like it's a popular dog. You know, I'm just I'm just unaware. I'm I'm uninitiated, but uh, definitely for those y'all who are seeing it for the first time, man. Uh, thank you, thank the brother for sharing this. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for sharing this. All right, so that was that was the top side right there. Um, let me let me check out the Jayo dog. See how far back I got to go before I start doing dogs.
Okay, so you got the Patrick Blood again, uh, Bloody Mary, Hail Mary, um, more Patrick Blood. Banjo, uh, y'all familiar? Uh, y'all know anything about Banjo other than uh, him, him being a grand champion? I want to say Jaybo sp spoke about Banjo before as well. Yeah, both both of them be talking about Banjo. Uh, I think nonstop in there some in here somewhere. Nonstop in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and stop being stop being greedy and post the link. You know what I'm saying? Um, for those brothers who for those brothers who who really know these bulldogs. So they can um so they can cook on 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 that on that topic because I don't want to negate these dogs' greatness because of my because of my ignorance. Because the brother was polite enough to share their pedigree with us, so we're gonna talk about the pedigree. Three thirty game dogs. Uh, if, if you hit me up on Facebook, man, make sure you hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or one of the important social media that's more private. Shoot me that cash up because I owe you five dollars. Uh oh, hold up. Wait. Brother Michael Schrader, new member in the building. Tip, tip. Hey. Let's do Salute, it. salute, Schrader. Schrader is growing, man. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, Y'all brothers, go ahead and cook real quick. Let me hook up my brother, uh, 330 Game Dog. Yes, sir. Yeah, your rock. Uh, Sray Knock, he said he came off two curves, but he was said to be a good one as well as his sister. He talking about BB Red. They were both grand champions, uh, Banjo and BB Red. Oh, uh, same letter. Yeah, and they said Sack had quit. You know, Sack is the sire of of, of those uh, dogs, and uh, Banjo and BB Red was sold for cheap uh -huh. because of that, and they ended up being, you know, phenomenal dogs. Yeah, hey, I heard. I heard about. I heard about BB and uh, Banjo. And then yeah. who's the, who's who's the father? Is that Hat? Is that who's the father to them? The dog named Sack. Okay. What what's the first name? McCool Sack. Oh, okay. Okay, got Yeah, you. McCool Sack. McCool stuff. McCool that's, stuff. What's, that's what's on there. I got you. That McCool stuff. I heard about that shit before. That McCool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little experience with it. Uh not as far as owning it, but I, I've seen it and been been around it. Right, right. You know, matter of fact, uh, the Mayday dog, one of the Mayday dogs I had back in the day, before I got him, he was bred to a McCool's bitch. And okay. I, I seen it, it knew that particular McCool's bitch. I got you. Um, and we got, <laughs> we'll talk about it, you know. But, uh, <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, man, you know, that, that produced some good dogs, bro. Okay. You know, okay. even up to to to, you know, other other stuff that's more like more not modern modern, but you know, um, it produced you know the grandkids produce good dogs, and all of that you know. So yeah, you know, banjo, banjo himself wasn't no joke. His sister wasn't no joke. You know, they was rough. You know, and they uh, they was a force to be reckoned with. You know. Yes, sir. They say BB. They definitely say BB was uh, one of the baddest. Like, like this dog we talking about now. Uh, uh, I think the dog we talking about now. We going through the pedigree for for what I see in this heavy, heavy bulls. I see queer hearts everywhere. And I see Newman's buck and stuff like that. So I'm thinking it's one of them, um, them, um, them blends, them bulls blends that uh, Twin be talking about. They got the Newman's buck in it too. The Numa's buck in the, uh, I see, uh, I see Cochise in there and some other stuff. So it definitely look like some good stuff for sure. Yeah. And they got a phenotype to them too, man. Matter of fact, a few months ago, I was walking one of my dogs and it was, it was a dog loose in the yard. And I'm like, here uh -huh. we go again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, but he, I was like, man, get your dog, bro. You got him. He was like, he ain't right. gonna do nothing. It was a brother out there with him. And, and, and I, and, and I'm looking at the dog. It looked like a banjo dog. It got that face, that real blocky, like, short muzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. And it, it, look, it looked so good. And I'm like, bro, what that is? He was like, man, just a pit. You know, I was like, you don't, you don't know what it is? He was like, man, just a pit. that's all I know. Right, I'm like, right. Man, like some banjo shit, you know. And there's some banjo shit in my city. So I'm like, he probably mm. don't know what he got. Mm. You know. 
Um, yeah, had a head just like Banjo, bro. Buckskin, but had the black on the tail. You know what I'm saying? They had that black muzzle, but it had that. When I seen it, I'm like, that looks like a Banjo dog. You know, just the, the phenotype of it, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, it's um, crazy how these dogs got that. Certain, you know, it's like Sorrels. That's another dog that got that phenotype where you can see it and be like, that's a Sorrels dog. Just a look to their face. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, it's like a, the forehead shape and the muzzle shape. And uh, they got like, some of them have like a lot of uh, like little droopier ears, kind of like a Mayday dog. We're talking about the Sorrels dogs. Yeah, I got you. All the ones I seen was big. Yeah, they do run kind of big. Yeah. They, you know, you know, you can get some, I mean, they, you know, they produce bigger dogs. Like yeah. certain lines known for bigger dogs, Mayday, Alligator, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorrels. Not saying that all of them are big, but they known for producing the yeah, the ones dogs, I seen, you know. ones I seen in the nineties, they was they was kind of they was big, but they was they was they they was about it though. Yeah, I seen a Soros dog. You know, I seen I seen one for real, and uh, you know, it did good. You know, I always wonder about the Sorrel. So, what we call it Sorrel, but like Bert and uh, Bert, what is it? Another one, Bert and um. Bert Sorrell and ain't it another one, another Sorrell, but they not related. It's, right. it's a Rick it, no. Sorrell's. Oh, Rick Sorrell, Rick Sorrell, Rick Sorrell, and Bert Sorrell. So what's the they not related? But what's the difference? No, they not related. They not what's related. the difference? A, what's the difference of the hounds? Hounds and they hounds. They don't even run the same same hounds either, right? They didn't run the same hounds, right? I don't think so because uh, Bert Sorrell's had his own strain. All right, Bert Sorrell had his own strain. And, then, and uh, what Rick and what Rick was running. I know he had like that gator dog was I think was boomerang. Okay. Uh, they was two they was uh it was just a coincidence that they had the same name. That's just like the uh so what about the Crenshaws, James and Ed? Yeah, yeah. I don't know I, that. I don't I, know I, if they related or not. Either. It just always yeah. was funny to me, funny to me, the two Crenshaws and the two Sorrells and name related. But they in yeah. the dog cabin. Or Williams and Williams, you know what I'm saying? Williams, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But they are <laughs> <don't know. laughs> who knows, man. With modern technology, had they got on ancestry.com, they might have been distant cousins, right? Right, <laughs> but back then, I mean, they wasn't close enough to where they knew it or knew it. I got other, you. Like, you know what I mean? I got you. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, shout out to We Royalty Kennels in the building, y'all. That dog shot that he got his fire. Um, man, this, this, man, y'all brothers, y'all brothers cooking right now. But I, I bought up this dog right here. Uh champion one man's army Spider-Man, three-time winner. I wanted to bring up these numbers he got, man, because I think this is great. I see a lot of short order, short order cooks, but uh this is his record. He uh he hunted one time at 43 and 43 minutes. Um he did another hunt at 32 minutes. But his final hunt was an hour and forty-one. Um, so he could he could go he could go he could hunt for a while, or he could just go in there and take the hog down, you know, quickly, very quickly. I think that's uh, impressive that to, have, to be able to do that because um, I don't remember, I want to say it was I want to say it was a uh, in one of the uh, wake and bakes they was talking about um, fast twitch muscles and conditioning versus um, versus uh, long long strand muscle, uh, and to to be able to do both. A dog has to be well developed in both uh, fast twitch and cardio. Excuse me, fast twitch muscles as well as long strand and, car and cardio. And um, this dog, this dog right here, if you got it in your bloodline, uh, I would be looking to see if I could, uh, if I could get, make those traits homogenous, where a dog can can go can go for a long period of time uh, on the on the meal, or whether or the, whether that dog can pull heavy weights real fast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, sir. Let me see if I can pull up this next pair while while y'all enjoy that pair right there. Uh, y'all brothers there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Hey, Toyo. Salute, Dre. What's up? Yeah, so uh, back to what you and Pop was talking about uh, in the morning time, right? Um what you uh 
what you think about some of these lines being used for that hog hunt and stuff, man? The working dog, because you know, back to the man in the arena, man. That the whole purpose of this episode is, is, is working, and we're gonna we're gonna get to these pads, y'all, because like that's what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see the pads. Y'all want to y'all want to hear you know more things about them. And same thing for me because uh, I'll give you an example. I did not care nothing about Jeep dogs until I got until I got one. That's when I started doing research on them. I know that's the wrong way to go about it, but uh, the first breeder that would breed to me, that's what he ran. He ran. Uh, Pitt Island, bred to Joe Woodle stuff, Jeep Red Boy Rascal. And um, I grew up in, in a Red Boy Jocko country. So uh, I wish I had known about these chats and these pedigrees before I purchased my first dog. And if you haven't bought a dog yet, check out the chats for four weeks. You know what I'm saying? See what worked for you. Just because a dog is bred good don't mean the personality and quality is going to work for your, for your camp or the kind of work you do. Dog man, dog man said he seen the daughter of Spider Man. Really nice. Okay, Spider Man. But what you were saying about the hawk? What you was asking me, Dre? You said say something. What, what me and Pop was talking about this morning. What happened? So the last that we color, you know, that that, that heavy bolio carver stuff. You know, that Spider Man, them dogs like that. You said they were heavier dogs. Uh, how do you think they would fare with with the kind of hogs y'all? The kind of hogs y'all be running? Oh. With the Carver dog, Carver dogs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that. I mean, Carver dogs. All right, you know, Carver dogs built built for that. Carver Eli built for that. You know what I mean? Like, basically, every stock gonna have some. It depends on what type of stock you raising, man. As long as they the uh they um the structure of them, you know, sturdy and they um able to, you know, they gotta be athletic and uh. You know, they got to be athletic, man, and, uh, you know, confident. All the things we say, but the the body type, you know, you want a more athletic one, you know, definitely, you know, the, the leggier one. The same things like twinning them and all the other uh, legends be talking about how they like their dogs built. You you want the same type of thing out on the hunt, you know what I mean? You want to uh, – you definitely want a heavier dog, though, but, like, even the uh, – the smaller ones could get get some work done too. Facts, facts. All right, y'all. Let's click on this pad right here. This is Shallows. I want to say it's supposed to say Champion right here. Uh, oh no, oh, no, uh, no, Shallow Cino. Shallow Cino. Um, he looks so good. I just want to. I want to give him some wind. You know what I'm saying? He looks so good. I want to give him some wind. We'll leave a mark in Bulldog history. Woo! And he got that wood blood. Shouts out to the brother who's in this pedigree in here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, uh, Woodle's blood is finest. You know what I'm saying? G. Redbird Rascal coming down through Rodriguez Gator and through Blackjack. Now, this is the stuff right here I can talk about because I, I have it, and I'll tell you what I know. Uh, I actually have a Hendrix dog that looks exactly like this. Now, Hendrix's bottom side is pure uh, Welcome My Red Boy Jocko, but this dog right here looks exactly like my Hendrix dog. Um, and Hendrix has, has hunted some hogs in Louisiana. And uh, he's done well. You know, they, he did so well. They bred him the five bitches on the yard to make sure when they take him out to hunt, if he died in a hunt, that, um, that the blood would go on. You know, brother said he got the dog and it was the best dog on his yard. So he bred him to every bitch he had. Uh, some Nigarino blood. So you'll see them pedigrees popping up eventually in a couple of years. Uh, bred that uh, Whittle to that Wakama and then put that on top of some Nigarino blood. Um, but yeah, man. What you, what you rock? What you rock talking about? Uh, they not carver at all. I must have missed something. What's going on? They not carver at all. What dog he was talking about? Speak on the Euro. Because I, I don't want to, you know, lie, bro. I don't want to be putting out no bad information and, 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 and stay here like, like I got all the answers. I don't got all the answers. That's why I got older brothers to, 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 to educate me and make me not look stupid out here in the streets. One of my older brothers used to run that he actually just got Rid of the last few minutes. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. We was talking about Carver's car. That's what I run Jeep Red Boy. Oh, he run the Jeep Red Boy. I don't know. I'm looking at wrong stuff. <laughs> e Rock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm looking at different things. Salute, Salute Sporting Dog Archive, man. Another great channel, man. Sporting Dog Archive, Sporting Dog Archive gives y'all that the real unfiltered uh, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, Sporting Dog Archive. Archives go, he go in for sure. He go in. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. Swear I do. Hey, uh, 
Brother Solo, if you will, uh, while we cooking, can you drop a, a one of them famous champions that people might not know about? I'm gonna do a ten dollar question real quick while we while we are uh, talking about uh, petty reasons stuff. Um, Got gotcha. you. And um, if y'all wonder why I sound distant, uh, I can't multitask. Multitask work for damn. I'm trying to upload that video. I told you I was gonna upload upload thirty minutes ago. Uh, I'm trying to figure my life out right now and, and get it on here so y'all can see uh why your dog. Why I only will have working dogs in my yard. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And Shetty, uh, uh, three double X, uh, bro, like these pedigrees you sent in, this one right here, like if you got this, uh, how let me, how let me at, at some point in time, bro, um, for real, for real, because uh, I already know just, just off of what I have of that blood that you should, that's on the screen right now and that dog in the, in the picture, um yeah man i'll pay the stud fee i'll put it that way i'll pay the stud fee on that um and i know that's the first time i made that specific comment on my channel uh but that widow blood I, I i rock with it and i knew nothing about it until i got to texas okay bro uh, i'm not gonna put your information out no deeper than that bro you got it uh I'm not even gonna ask your location on here, bro. If you if you decide to hit me up in the back chat or find me on Facebook or uh, Instagram or something like that, I'm Samurai Kennels on all forms of social media. I rock with that, bro. I really do. I really, I really, I like that. Who dog is that right there, Dre? That that's a black dog up there on there now. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you. So uh, okay, yeah, okay, and that's 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 uh, what that is. Oh, that's so the, right here. That, that's the black. That's the black jack. That's the uh, black. It's with doubled up. What is it? So no, this is this, this is widow blood. This is albino. My widow stuff is off dink. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And bird uh -huh. dog. You know uh -huh. what I mean? But uh, this, like that's what I'm saying. Like he got a strand that I can rock with. And for those y'all who, who don't know what I'm saying, like uh, the widow's weird jack. All right. So let me let me let me go through weird jack. Okay. So weird jack is down on Rodriguez Gator and Black Jack. Uh, weirdo Jeep, so it's Jeep Red Boy Rascal, and the, the, the Red Boy is coming through White's tab right here. And like we talked about last episode, White's tab is a pure Jeep Red Boy cross, okay. Uh, Big Casey, another solid dog down off of the Crenshaw blood. Uh, and then you got the, the Woods Amber. Uh, and, and if anybody's familiar with Woods blood, uh, I want to say that's the same Dr. Woods that is uh responsible for uh the Chinaman breeding. So that's also there, and it goes well with what I'm already rocking. Yeah, that's, you, yeah. right? that's the same one because you got you got you got Shirley, you got Shirley behind it. That's with twin. Let me talking about Shirley. Uh, what's what's uh, uh, they 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 OG. What, what's it, what's his name? Uh, that might be. I don't know if that's his dog, but sure, that's Shirley too. So maybe Shirley one was uh was uh. You remember the guy twin be talking about the, the old Pope Pope James Pope. James Pope dog, go on that wood, Shirley. Go on wood, Shirley. Hold on, just a second, Toyo. Hey, make sure y'all put a pin in that. I want to. I want to go a little bit some more into this brother's pedigree and and give y'all the why, why I'm why it's not like I'm dick 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 riding right now. Pause. No diddy. No diddy. So okay. So the widow he got is not the same widow I got, but it's not an out. Okay. Then you look in here and I see that woods amber. But y'all know it's the woods trouble that made Chinaman and on the bottom side of my pedigree. So when I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, these is these are the same breeders, and he got different strands of the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. So so it could be an out, but it could be an out like a line, a line, a uh, line breed, breed. Out. like a, a line breed with a with out in it, kind of. Um, because I see he got he got blackjack in there twice, blackjack on there, and um. Uh, what else? So it's it's two times the gator stuff, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, but that, that's that's heavy. Anytime, anytime you see blackjack, you got uh, or, or excuse me, anytime you see Rodriguez Gator and blackjack, then you yeah. Know so I think we, I think I think they got it on top and bottom though. Uh, from yeah. what I've seen at the beginning, um, at the beginning, I think now, it was the, the weirdo is the, is the Jeep Rascal stuff. The the, the no, I think, you got, I think that. I think that that dog, the original one that we was looking at before you start going back, I think he got black jack in it twice. Yeah, right there. I think he got black jack in it twice. Yeah, but he also got the big Casey. I'm not carrying the big Casey, the, the big Casey uh, strand in mine. So it's it's uh 
Yeah, so it's, you good. Yeah, you, you know still what got saying? yeah, yeah. You adding that big Casey stuff to yours. Exactly, exactly. And that's why, like, that's why I really gotta say, man, like salute to y'all brothers who who coming through here and sharing these pads because I'm seeing now where I don't even have to go out. I can just line breathe and keep the same stuff going. And show a uh, picture of Blackjack. He kind of looked like Blackjack, if I'm not mistaken. I thought so black, like black. Blackjack last week, but I'm gonna show him again. Blackjack is a is a black dog. He got that that big front end, like 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 almost like Mayday or something like that. Heavy, oh, okay. big head, heavy front yeah. end, a nice taper yeah, to like, that. So so that dog is. Is he looking like um blackjack too? I was just saying he looked like blackjack. Yeah, yeah. He looked like a blackjack though. I don't know about them dogs like that, but they good looking dogs though. So blackjack, blackjack is a five time winner, man, and all in every one of his matches was under under uh or every time his, every one of his hunts was under uh was under the hour mark. A lot of people discredit him for that reason, but um I like everything I've seen off the of blackjack stuff, man. Personally, personally. As a person, it was Crenshaw, it was Crenshaw stuff, right? Yeah, Crenshaw said, uh, and, and brother, I want to say, brother Arrowhead or brother Eli, one of the two had said, uh, that Crenshaw was, was credited as saying that Blackjack was uh, one of the most phenomenal animals he had seen with his own eyes. So, um, that, that's a tribute, okay. a tribute to Blackjack stuff. Okay, yeah, to discredit it almost sounds blasphemous, you know, unless you have seen, seen something you didn't like, but grand champion ROM. Yeah. Crenshaw said it was one of the best he's seen. So I mean, to discredit that is is I would say foolish. You know what you I'm know, saying? Unless you were there and you seen him, what well, you know, and you seen something that you didn't like. Other than that, man, you gonna discredit him because he got him up out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Yeah, bro. Haters gonna hate. You know what I'm saying? They gonna they gonna do what they do. Uh, because 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 they didn't they didn't have the same record, man. You know, it's always something, man. You know, I was worming when I came in. Well, you should have paid the forfeit. How about that? You know, um, that's what that is. Uh, For you, sure. should, you know, like just keep it Jeep, man. You didn't have to go that day. You chose to go that day. You know, uh, they do the same thing with Jeep, man. You know, uh, but uh, you know where I'm from, they got a medicine for that. It's called um, fuck them. You know, <laughs> that's that, that's what it, that's what it is oh, with that, yo. man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. That's what it is. Uh, so I'm trying you to know, get this video you together. Go, you you going you to get some of that Some of that up in... You, so, uh, see what that... Uh, what dog you was talking about trying to breed to, you was talking about? You was trying to breed to something? My homeboy got an inbred Jeep, red boy, rascal, man. Uh, that was John Kramer. You trying to breed to something, you said? That so right that, so see, that meal that, that I just saw, that that I just saw was stop me from having to go on out. I could just line breed on that, and I'm not gonna. I'm, some of the dogs are outs, but it's it's so it's so it's so minuscule that the uh, that I wouldn't even I wouldn't even it's, it's negligible. You know, it's, it's what, negligible. Do we got an offspring list already that you can check out? Yeah, I can I can do that. Okay, so uh, they not breeding this dog. They not they not breeding the nuts off of this dog, which I which I like. You know, uh, this this looks like a plant breeding Cino by Black Girl, or maybe it's a, a puppy litter brother. You're in here to defend yourself. I'm not here to discredit you. Uh, I like the Shallows Blackjack. I just like the name. You know what I'm saying? Because because he's honoring the dogs behind the dog and the pedigree. You know, um, you got that Jake the Snake that uh, that Lockjaw Midnight too. Oh, that termite blood in there too. Ooh. And that burns. See, he got that. He got different strands of red boy in there. I got I got the yellow on my on my bottom side too. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I got the uh obviously you got the the uh what you call it? Tabby uh tabby girl in there, but you know you got that burn stumpy right here. So you you you're 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 cooking with cooking with propane. Then you got the termite dogs in there, and and it's I think the termite is in the right amount for how it was bred. I don't hear the best stories about uh, termite, but um, yeah, man, like I, I like the way this dog is. And that, that's the offspring of of that. Uh, I like uh, that termite no shit. I got I got termite dog top end on a uh, top end, but I fuck with the termite heavy. Huh? You know, I'm red boy Jocko too. Got that. Fuck with the red boy Jocko for sure. Then he got that Zebo in there. 
You know what I'm saying? That's Hold where on, the black color comes from. I mean, hey, Twan, that's you, that's you, fam. Twan, don't tell me, <laughs> don't tell me from North Click, bro. Because I, Twan, I, Twan, I, I, I know, a, I know, a Twan. Um, <laughs> is it, bro? And if it is, I, I miss that dog you had named Cocaine. You know, Cocaine was a fire dog, bro. But um. Yeah, would you say? Man. Would you say? Would you say Slim was cooking with uh, Drace and propane? With, with, yeah, with dog, with, with, who you call the propane? And, and, and then Dre, let me. Who you was talking about? Yellow, the yellow stuff. What you was talking about with the propane? No, I was saying. I was saying the different strands of, of Red Boy Jocko and Red Boy dogs he had in there that's cooking with propane because I like to see them bring. I that's right. And, and I, I, I didn't. That's see, right. I didn't see uh, the boomer in there. That's the only strand that I'm really, really familiar with that I didn't see there. You know what I'm saying? You got the Cadillac stuff, uh, but uh, I'm cool with that. You know, I'm, I'm cool with the yellow. I'm cool with with the with the burn snuffy because that's what that's that's what I'm that's the Red Boy Jackal dogs that I run. I don't have any more of the Mims uh, stuff uh, uh, available to me because um, before your boy decided to go on the Shogun path, uh, I did some fuck shit and I and I lost a good connection to the Mims dogs. So um, well, I'm I, still, I, still, I still got to connect to the Mims dogs. So it's you, all you got it. You got it. That's yeah. right. I'm tripping, bro. No, there's no part of No disrespect intended. Um, but let me let me let me give y'all a video clip real quick. Let me give y'all some action, and then we go right back to these pedigrees, man. It's nothing. Also, I need to get with brother Solo so I get that uh, that uh, this next dog poster for y'all because y'all know we like to look, keep it keep it entertaining, and let you win some money while we on here. The next dog we post is gonna be a ten dollar dog question. But uh, check out this video of why your game dogs need to be game. And I don't know if y'all can hear me. This video has no sound, but that's a giant schnauzer, and that's a that's a mountain lion that jumped in somebody's backyard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I go outside at night, at least twice a night, let my dogs out. You know what I'm saying? And 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 make sure they're taken care of. This on this on 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 the big news channel. So hopefully they don't fucking uh try to you know try to get me for some shit they posted. Uh, so for all y'all tree huggers out there, uh, that's ABC News. So I hope y'all go with them just like y'all go with us, fuckers. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you, Dre. You good? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was ABC News. So if they don't like us, they don't like ABC News. That's what that's what they posted. I ain't post that. You all right. You all right, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Y'all see the little disclaimer before all the videos go up. You know, if you don't like gruesome stuff, then this ain't the channel to show for you because uh, everything we do is is based upon uh combat. The samurai, the, the best way to die in the samurai was in combat as a beautiful death. To be outmatched by and outclassed by an opponent is to die at the hand, the die worthy hand. Um, we ain't trying to die today. Melee, new suspect kennel. Salute to you, brother. Salute. Right, yo. Salute. Uh, brother Toyo, brother Solo, y'all go ahead and cook while I get this dog loaded up into the chat so we can go ahead and um, see who see who can identify some champions or who might have been at a show to. The other people wasn't at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice dog. Nice dog. Uh, whoever dog this was, we was chopping up. Nice dog. I know you happy to have it. Yeah, that's that's a phenomenally bred dog right there. Basically, seventy five percent Jeep Red Boy Rascal, and look like a quarter. Red boy Jocko, you know. Mm -hmm. The rascal, rascal. I heard he that uh, Chris Shaw loved that rascal stuff too. You know, yeah, it made more rougher Red boy Jocko dogs. You know, he yeah, put a little more mouth and a little more power to him. You know, yeah, I feel like, okay. I feel like uh, G Red boy Ra uh, 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 G Red boy rascal. Was kind of the answer to the uh, or the G Red Boy was kind of the answer to the Red Boy Jocko. Uh, I think I think G, you know how they say like Red Boy and Bolio had a lot of the same qualities. Bolio might have been a little bit smarter, a little bit better wrestler, but they kind of the mix. I feel that's kind of like what Jocko and Jeep added to that mix as well. 
Yeah, that's why I like both stuff that uh, Jeep Red Boy Rascal Bo. Bo that's the line Bo uh, mess with. That's the combination Bo be messing with. <laughs> That's one of them that. crosses that's classic, you know? Yeah. It's like the Red Boy Jocko, the Eli Snooty. You know, it works. <laughs> it just, it works. Yeah. You know? And that's why I don't, you ain't never heard me talk shit about any bloodline, you know, on that level, you know, because it's like, how could you? You know what I mean? Hell yeah. You've seen them. Hell yeah. It's like the best dog I've seen ain't from none of the lines that I even have. Right, right. You I feel you. I feel you. So if somebody, let's say, before, I, you know, it was a certain period of time where I'm like, man, I can have dogs again. I can get a bulldog. You know, mm -hmm. I sought out what I what I got in the beginning because that's what I had before, kind of. Mm -hmm. But let's say I would have known somebody that had some right, like this litter right here. Mm -hmm. You think I would have got one? I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's say if I know, if I knew Dre, and Dre had a litter off Saki to Bacardi, whatever it was, you know, I would have got one of them dogs. It wouldn't have been no situation where I'm like, oh, man, I got to have Red Boy Jocko. Got it. Yeah, I like that, you know, but, hey, shit, bro got it. It's right here. Paperwork solid. Dog's good. Yeah, let me get one of them, bro. You know I what I mean? I feel you. I could have one of the tightest Sorrell's dogs in the world, bro. But I had mm. already I had, I had already had a uh, – Matter of fact, I had brought, she was a puppy then. His dog, her name had Honey. Mm -hmm. Red Boy Jocko, Bolio, Tombstone. May Mayday, but she had some of that uh, some of that Jeep in her too through that uh, pit stop Joker. Okay. But uh, I took her to an ADBA show and um, a certain individual had a litter of Sorrell's pups there. You ain't supposed to have puppies and sell puppies at the show, but you know how they turn a blind eye to some of that shit. And it was, uh, man, some of the some of the tightest Sorrells that you know, that I'm, and then I'm like, well, he tried to sell them, you know, and I, he tried to sell me one. And I'm like, right. Man, I, you know, I just bought this dog. I'm good. Then I, he was like, what is that? I told him, oh man, my dogs beat that stuff. And I'm, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this was a long time ago, but oh, he just you know, went at you like that, huh? Yeah, but if I didn't have that puppy. Who's to say I wouldn't have bought one of them? Right, they was right. very good. Right, you know. So I mean, I, I ain't, you know, all of them, all of them bloodlines got good dogs, bro. G Red Boy, Rascal, Banjo, Mayday, you know, Eli, and crosses thereof of, of all of it. Folio, Whites, all of it, man. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I, don't, I don't discredit none of them. Me either. All right, whatever work, whatever work for you, whatever work for you, for sure. All right, y'all. The time in the show, man. Y'all know this, this is a game show. We try to be the most interactive. Uh, brother Solo and a grand champion. So this is what I'm gonna do, man. I'm really gonna bless y'all, brothers tonight, man. The person to get this answer right here, twenty dollars, twenty dollars to your cash app. All right. Uh, and the reason why is this is a grand champion. Um. I want to I want to I want to bring honor and 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 lavish the grand champions with the with the respect they deserve. And this dog right here is a grand champion. So y'all know how it goes for those are for those are who knew to the chat how our game show works is I'm gonna post a picture of a dog on the screen. All right, I'm gonna give it a few minutes. We're gonna cook, we're gonna talk while the dog is on the screen. And if y'all can't get it with just the picture of the dog, then I start going through the fourth generation of the pedigree, working our way up all the way to the dam and the sire. Um a lot of y'all are smart, so once I get to the, to the third generation or the second generation, a lot of y'all can do the research yourself and find a dog. The first person whose answer appears in the chat wins. All right, the first person whose answer appears in the chat wins, and then what happens is is that money goes to you on a cash app. What a lot of brothers do, they so they so modest, so humble because we're the best people in the world. Facts, you know what I'm saying? The realest Americans you got. Facts. You know what I'm saying? The most patriotic people we got of our own cultures, facts. Um, so what happens is a lot of brothers end up donating back to the chat anyways. And if that, and if that happens, then, then, then you know what I'm saying? We're going to just up it, do another dog, up the ante. But um, right now, this is a $20 question. This dog is a grand champion. And the picture's coming in three, two, one. All right, y'all. So we uh, I'm going to just talk about the dog itself. 
uh, right here. And no, that's not the pedigree behind the dog, right? I wouldn't do nothing none that stupid right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this dog right here is a good looking dog. Uh, I would say uh, this dog is not conditioned in this picture. You know, this is this is pet weight right here. Oh man, that's that's solo. What you think? That's real close right there, bro. Hey, John Kramer got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your rock got it. From what I'm seeing, your rock right got it. All right, hey, so uh, your rock got it. Your rock beat you in there, uh, brother John Kramer. Um, yeah, your rock got it. Yeah, hey, double up. Yeah, so your rock. This is what I need you to do, brother. Okay, so Samurai Kennels is on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I need you to reach out with a cash app or something where I can sell you your prize. All right. And then, Brother Solo, if you will, do one more, make it a champion. We do another $10 giveaway tonight. And we'll we, we shut it down with the giveaways and we and we'll shut the show down around the two-hour mark. But by the way, while we while you doing that, brother, your rock, I'm gonna go through the pedigree for y'all brothers uh, who may not be familiar with that dog, so that we can um so that we can make sure everybody's familiar with his blood because this is something that honestly, if solo wouldn't put me on game, I wouldn't have known it. You know what I'm saying? And hey, I'm I want to say something right quick before you do that. That's ahead, exactly bro. the reason why I put that dog up there. Because I don't think she get enough credit. I don't think she talked about as much as she should. It was a question was asked if you could have any three dogs from history to start your yard with, what would it be? And she was my choice. You know, one of my choices. And it's like you hear about all oh, honey bunch and all and, and Dirty Mary, a lot more than you hear about her, man. I don't understand why, because she a grand champion. She a ROM. And when you look at the dogs that she produced, we, we talk about them, but we don't really talk about her that much. You know what I mean? And I feel like with her uh, acclimates in the front end of, after her name, I feel like she should be talked about a little bit more, you know? Salute, salute, solo, salute. Yes, sir. Hey, and, uh, by the way, man, uh, while you were saying that solo, a brother hit me in the uh, a brother hit me on the Facebook page or whatever, and he said, uh, you know, saying uh, if you got any of them highs left, um, you know, saying he want, he want to hit me for hit me for some more. Of my, uh, yeah, man, you know, we keep them highs on deck, man. That that's that's how that's how I fund my animals, man. I'd rather sell you a t-shirt or or some training equipment than sell you a dog. Not saying I, not saying you don't deserve a dog, but uh, my bloodline is still experimental. I'm new. You know, so I'm green. I'm not trying to make money off dogs yet. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to, to learn. You know what I mean? Uh, shouts out to all the OGs who take the time to, to school a young brother like me. Uh, I'm only 33 years old. You know what I'm saying? And Easter's coming up this weekend. I'm the same age as Jesus when he died. You know, I'm still young. Um, but let me go ahead and pay the sponsors with this commercial and give you all some information you might not know about me. Incoming, incoming, incoming. What's good, big dog? New shipment of cow hides in, one for 30, two for 45, three for 50. We make it look easy. Familiar with that, man. Uh, yeah, so stay blessed. Um, you can hit me on, uh, once again, all forms of social media, Facebook, Instagram. You can hit me up on here. Uh, and I'll post, I'll post, I'll post my, uh, my business number on here as well. For those y'all who know it, also members, there's the members only videos where my, my personal number is in there, but that's that's for members only. And the reason for that is I think the members should be able to reach out directly to me because if you're supporting me and on that level, you should be able to contact me when you need to. Shouts out to brother Vinny, man. Uh salute to you, brother, for uh for reaching out this morning, bro. I appreciate that, bro. For real. You know what I'm saying? But uh I'm gonna put the number on in, in the chat to make sure y'all can reach me when y'all need to reach me for how, like you know what I mean, because sometimes you just need to vet. Sometimes you might be about to, you know, you might be about to put somebody down. You know what I mean? You might need me to talk you off the ledge. Uh, I'm a suicide prevention expert. I'm a sociology major uh, with a three, with a four year bachelor's degree in uh, sociology, and I'm working on my master's in psychology. So th that's what I offer to the community. You know what I'm saying? I'm awful. I'm also one of the few brothers that I deal with. Most of my brothers are have have convictions, you know, um, so they can't they can't vote and they can't get involved in the community like I can. So I, on behalf of my brothers, uh, this movement is not just for 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 dogmen. It's for all those who don't have a voice for themselves. I, I don't just go and I don't serve in the military just for those who who had that perfect life and that silver spoon in their mouth. I fight for those who can't fight for themselves because they the government took away their right to own firearms. Uh, salute to all y'all brothers, man. I love y'all. Salute, salute, Dre, salute. Yeah, man. Uh. 
But um, let me let me pull that pedigree back up because I do want to give uh, Grand Champion Candy her, her just due. All right, y'all. So Candy is off of Davis's uh, Chivo, three-time winner, one-time loser. Uh, that's a champion. That's a champion. Carver's uh, Davis Piggy, registered merit. Coming down off Walling's Bully Son to Long's Baby and Walling's Bully Son to Carver's Jill. So that's a uh, half-brother, half-sister breeding. Brother Coleman Bulldogs, I appreciate you too, bro. Y'all are snapping in the chant. Oh, my God, Sir Kennels. Bro, you better shut your mouth, man. I love that Black Rock stuff, bro. Yeah, man. Man, that Black Rock stuff is fire. Uh, also, I deal with a lot of Cardenas. For those of y'all who don't know, one of my mentors is actually uh, from Mexico. He's an old school Mexican dog, man. Um, he got out of the game around that time. Uh, Brother Mario got locked up down there. Uh, but, um, oh, you know what? Let me, let me share this story with y'all because I see, I don't know who was cooking on it. They were saying about dogs, it's hard to breed about uh, about breeding stands. So uh, I had a dog that I thought wasn't breedable, and uh, I called a Mexican. And this this how this how Mexican my homie is. You know what I'm saying? Um, I couldn't even I I can't speak to him without Google Translate. That's how that's how real my homie is from uh from the from the province he's in down in uh down in Mexico from the state he's in. And so um, thankfully my my good friend Apache Kennels translates for me. And so Apache and I were doing a breeding, and Apache is uh Apache in his sixties. So even Apache didn't know how he was gonna get this female who who was a uh, fight crazy to to breed. This this is breeding made Saki. So I wanted to share this story with y'all because I didn't know this about dogs. I figured when she's in heat, she gonna naturally uh, let him breed. And um, she only she had only had one tooth in her and it was in a yard accident. So I'm like, cool, like she it shouldn't be that bad. We get there and she is literally foaming at the mouth and and biting everything that comes in in, in the area of that dog. And so um. Uh, my friend, you know, he say, uh, he say, uh, buen suerte, you know, good luck. But then, uh, so Patchy's talking to him in Spanish and he says, look, you idiots, idiota. He say, uh, y'all need to go sit in a garage with them dogs and let them tire themselves out. So of course they barking each other across the garage for hours, literally for hours. These dogs have never seen each other prior to this day when I pull up at Apache's, right? And so um, they tired themselves out, and we we thinking, okay, we we can get them bred. And as soon as we get them close to each other, she go to snapping, and you know she nips the mail. And so uh, my homie down in Mexico, you know, shouts out to Cayetano, um, th that's his nickname. Shouts out to Cayetano. He uh, he says, man, y'all gonna have to do that more a couple of days, man. Like you know, it's just like if you put two dogs on a chain in the yard, they might go at each other the first couple of days on the yard. So um, she was only like her, her first day of ovulation where she could have actually conceived anyways. So uh, so I, I went, and this is driving from, from San Antonio to San Marcos. It's an hour drive every day. And I'm driving up there with this dog in the car, bleeding all over my back seats and my challenger. And um, so by the third day when we got there, she was at peak ovulation and that male's testosterone had spiked from all that, from all that he was doing. And uh, that same dog that was trying to eat, eat his face off on that third day, she cocked her leg up and I was embarrassed. I was like, you whole ass dog. She cocked her leg up and, and let let him out her. And within five minutes, they were stuck, you know? And then we went back the next day and did the same thing. Now this is not going to work for every dog. Some dogs are more fight crazy than that, but it took three days for her ovulating and being around that dog to allow him to breed. Now I share that story with y'all because a lot of y'all wonder how y'all gain females get bred by mutts. And that's what happens is a courting process. You know what I'm saying? That movie Lady and the Tramp got some got some real uh, some real dog knowledge behind it if you watch it for what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to share that story because I couldn't speak on it in the in the live when it was going on because I was at work. But I wanted to share that with y'all brothers who might be having a difficulty breeding a female right now. I also want to give uh, homage to Going Hard Kennels. Brother Mike in the chat. Brother Mike, you snapped last night, bro. Salute to you, big bro. Salute. And uh, Yeah, I had uh, Grand Champion Candy have brother right off the same site. Uh, Hugo Verdugo, or oh, they sold him to uh, Seek and Destroy, and they could change his name to Tombstone. But yeah, I had her half brother, man. He, he, you know, that's some good shit. Salute, salute. Yeah, let me read y'all some more of this pedigree though, because I I got to the second gen on that uh Wallings Bully Son uh, over Long's Baby and over uh, Carver's Jill. Okay, so. Anybody who know Bully Son know that's the Eli bread dog. That's uh, Eli the Spook. And then uh, Long's baby is Hunter Sam, which is a uh, uh, or Carver Sam, 
which is a one-time winner, one-time uh, loser, uh, to Hunter's uh, Tana, also uh, with the caveat of Carver there. Then you got, uh, of course, Bull out of Sp- uh, e- uh, Boudreaux's Eli out of Spook, which is that's what makes Bully Son. That's going to be there. And then you got Steinberg's Diamond over Car- Carver's Little Polly. All right. Now, when you go back behind that, starting from the bottom, you got Tom's Big Black to Carver's One Eye. We're familiar with One Eye. I'm not familiar with Big Black. So I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to click on that in just a second, but I'm gonna go up to fourth gen before I go into that uh, to that big black. All right. So above that, to make Steinberg's dime, you got uh, Crenshaw's Reno champion. Don't let me take away the, the, the champion. The Carver's Miss Spike. All right. We're familiar. I'm familiar with those dogs. Most of y'all probably are too. All right. So going up, you got Boudreaux's Boo, a Bowes to Boudreaux's Penny. More Boudreaux blood. Boudreaux's Scrub to Candy. That made Eli. Uh, then you got Crenshaw's Reno again in the top side to Crenshaw's uh, to Carver's Miss Spike, two-time winner, registered merit. Then you got Canard's Black and Tan Buck to Carver's Little Blondie, and then of course you got the the the, the Eli the, the excuse me the, the the Eli and Spook stuff uh, in there again. All right, but let me click on this um this Tom's Big Black because I want to see how Big Black is, is made up. Okay, so he's a he's a Dibo dog, Dibo bred to Black Widow. Specifically, that's crazy. And then you got a, uh, then you got Dibo over Hines, uh, excuse me, over Williams uh, Shine, and then William Sarge over Williams uh, Bucky Mac. Yeah, man, uh, that's a hellacious breeding right there, man. Now, one is a grand champion, and she also produced grand champion Happy Jack, which is a well-known midnight cowboy dog. They bred a midnight cowboy, and she's the. Uh, Granddam to uh Hargrove's Rufus, and she produced other grand champions and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, she uh, okay. she definitely was a producer. Oh, my bad, Cole Mountain. Hey, so I never, I never pulled a pet up, Cole Mountain. Um, that I was reading that off my phone, but I uh, I left her a picture while we was talking about her, bro. Uh, yeah, I, um, it's on my phone, but I what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop the link to the pet in the chat. So y'all, so those of y'all who care to do the research and, and really appreciate these dogs can do that research for yourself and see it with your own eyes. Because uh, you, believe half what you I believe half what you see and none of what you hear. If you look at how she bred though, like her mother, her mother and her father were to me were producers. If you look at both her mother and her father offspring, so she, to me, she you can kind of tell that. Uh, that she would produce too, I would think. You know what I mean? It was it was a good thing that she was a good dog too. You know what I mean? But I I could look at her mother and father and tell that she would produce some good dogs. Yeah, old school told me, man, if you breed a litter of Eli dogs or Boudreaux dogs and get you a buckskin, you better keep that buckskin. Salute. Yes, sir. Salute to that. Oh man, solo. Woo. Hey, so shout out to the twins again, man. If y'all didn't see their live last night, we need to go back and check it. They said, hey, brother Mo said some real stuff last night. He said, back in the day, them same dogs was winning in the confirmation were also great hunters. This dog right here is an example of that. All right. I'm about to pull it up. Y'all know how the game goes. Oh, uh, hold on. Also, let me get let me get back to my, my Facebook real quick. Make sure I pay the brother that just wanted a $20 question. Uh, because I'm pretty sure he hit me up already. Did you hit me up on Facebook or or Instagram, your rock? The confirmation standards was based off of champions and grand champions, though. When they wrote it up, they looked at the champions and grand champions physique and all of that, and that's what made them make that ADBA confirmation standard. So it's been several dogs that have been Pit champions and uh, confirmation champions, you know. Well, that's when that's when uh, form follows function. It should be that way, you know. what I'm saying you don't have to breed for just form. You don't, you know. Uh, and if they're gonna, if you're gonna call it a working dog, it should be the form should follow the function. And that's not just for hunting dogs. That's for any dog that's gonna do any kind of work because being being uh, confirmationally sound should. Should basically be based on how the dog ultimately performs in its in its prescribed function. Let me see. I'm looking for that brother. I'm looking for that brother's a message right now. Uh, 
for the brother that won. I don't want I don't want to leave you hanging, bro. Uh, it, it 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 weighs it weighs on me when I owe somebody money. You know what I'm saying? That, that weighs on me. I don't, I don't like going to buy nothing. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't want to play with nobody money because I don't want nobody playing with my money. You know what I'm saying? That that's just how it is, man. I was I was raised that way. You know what I'm saying? You say you're gonna do something, you need to try to do it to the best of your ability. And if you fall short, you need to get the explanation, not an excuse. All right, y'all. This is a champion. For a champion, it's a ten dollar question. For a champion, it's a ten dollar question. Oh, let me check the chat real quick before I, before I put this up there. And student of life is good to see you again too, my brother. Um, all right, so this dog is a champion, and y'all know how the game goes. For those y'all who are new to the chat, those y'all who never been before, the game show is this: we show you a champion, grand champion, or a dog that's a registered merit. You the first person to get into the chat, they win. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is contact me on on one of my forms, social media, and get cashed out. You know what I'm saying? Also, for a lot of y'all who win, some people don't be wanting the money because like it ain't about the money for them. They just want to show their dog knowledge. That's cool too. But if you want to substitute it for like a um, for like a hide or something, you can do that as well. Uh, Brother Supreme did that, and um, if if it's something in my on my, on my online store, you know my, my apparel link, you know what I'm saying, and you win enough to cover it, you can get you can hit me up for that too, and I can just send it to you like that way as well. It, but here's the dog, boom, yes, she, whew. all right. So you know what I'm saying the, the heat is on, the heat is on. All right, for those of y'all who are watching, this dog right here is crazy. Like, this conditioning is crazy. Uh, I, I I don't even, I, I can't even fathom getting a dog in this kind of shape right here. Those of y'all who got the skill to do something like this right here, you're on a whole nother level. Uh, Cold Mountain, nah, it, it, that's not Ninja, bro, but uh, it's a, a, I appreciate you, uh, Putting that out there because ninja ninja is a good looking dog like that uh give hey, one clue that's not an american dog he looked like a ninja mm -hmm. hey yeah hey Henry james you're right that's a fine looking animal man student fly bro man this show is great because y'all are great you know what I'm saying, and 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 the reason why we have to dig so far into the into the to the bag to find dogs, cause y'all motherfuckers know everything, and, I, and that's no disrespect, and, and I'm not calling you a mf in a bad way. I just can't call y'all all by name individually. Uh, shout out to Cat Williams for that one. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, is that is that a is that a female? Is that a female? No, our kid yeah. was way more touched up than that, bro. All right, he, all right, kid has so many scars on him. All right, I'm gonna start with the fourth generation, y'all, and work up to it. Hey, solo, you 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 went in your bag on this one. Uh, solo and big uh, big hill, please keep watching the chat while I start going through this uh this path, y'all. All right, so in the fourth generation, starting from the top to the bottom of the fourth generation. All right, you got. Boudreaux's Badger Rom and producer of record. Bred to Boudreaux's Miss Skull. All right. That's on top of Villa's Liberty Boudreaux Bully Son, the Villa Liberty Boudreaux. All right. And then you got Garner Armando's Bolo two-time winner on top of Garner's Serena. You got Garner's and Sagon's Khalifa to Galvin's Carol. Then you got Boudreaux's Badger to Miss Skull again. Bully Drew, uh, excuse me, Boudreaux's uh, Bully Son. The Villa Liberties Boudreaux Bully Son, the Villa Liberties Boudreaux. Then you got Escort the Kennels Champion Max, the Bears Negra. You got Escort Kennels Champion Max, 
the Barreras Negra again. All right, that's the fourth gen. They saying black somebody, China. Said, somebody said black China, somebody said uh China, China, China boy. boy. Not quite, y'all, not quite, but it, it the Chinaman is in there though. You know what I'm saying? The Chinaman is in there. All right. Uh then you got okay, third generation. Moving on to third generation, y'all. You got Villa Liberties, Boudreaux Bully Son. The Villa Liberties Boudreaux, uh, aka Montana. Garner's Leon's Stop, uh, Stopper, Rest of America, to Andrada's Fresquita. You now, actually said hey, it's a confirmation, though. So I'm going to give you some numbers, uh, Brother Yarok. So it says uh, first time out. 25 minutes. Second time out, 21 minutes. Third time out, 36 minutes. Somebody right. said Yantas. Yantas, yeah. No, it's not Yantas. Um, Villa Liberties, Boudreaux's Bully Son. Villa Liberties, Boudreaux, a.k.a. Montana, again, over at Scores of Kennels. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Start with a P. And then Diaz Cora, Kennel, Valentina. All right. Now you got Villa Liberty, uh, so for second generation, y'all. Villa Liberty's Black Trurino, Telegado, Kennels, Sable. Then you got Villa Liberty's Black Trurino, Today Cora, Kennels, Shayla. I'm a, I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with South America, my brother, because that because of, because of the spellings, and it is the champion, Uncle Willie. Yes, sir. Okay, now y'all, this is this is this is this is where the first person to be able to look it up is gonna get it. All right, pause. No Diddy. Um, <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, you got Black Bruce team. And I can't even pronounce this. I'm going to spell it for y'all. P-S-I-C-O-P-A-T-A-S. I'm going to spell it again. Black Bruce Team. P-S-I-C-O-P-A-T-A-S. On top of Polar Team with that same P word. Psychopaths. I will say again. Psychopatas. Psychopatas? Okay. Yeah. So you got two psychopatas dogs and they both lit up. May the odds be ever in your favor. And just so you're tracking, the uh the record was kept in, in Spanish. Champion Ivana Agulo Colombiano. All right. Your rock said check the inbox. Y'all keep watching the chat till somebody get it, all right? And I don't know nothing about this dog personally or nothing. It's just a dog that I seen that looked good, you know. That's all I don't know, you know, I don't know nothing. I can't even speak the language that these people <laughs> that got this dog speak so you see so is you see what white chocolate say that's no good that's not it hey man brother you're right bro you solid bro you solid in my book bro um can you're right can i tell them what you just did for the brothers uh i i don't, I don't tell nobody business without permission bro and um but if you're okay with me sharing what you just did for them brothers, bro, uh, it would it would mean a lot to me to be able to share that. And uh, if not, I understand, bro. Everybody's private, but that's solid. Mary Falk, welcome to the chat, man. Welcome to the chat. Mary Falk be trying to come here to take everybody money. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
White chocolate said is what white chocolate said the same thing she's saying. So they they were wrong, Dre. Hey, so okay, so solo, I'm gonna need you because right here she got it, but I don't know if this dog has two call names. Yeah, I don't, I, know, I don't know. You know, like I said, I don't know nothing about this dog, bro. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It just looked good, bro. And it was a it, yeah. it, it had champion on there. I don't know whether it was the ADBA or whatever they got over there. Or a pit or whatever it is. I don't know nothing about this dog, bro. It just right, a good looking bulldog and it's bred good, you know. It's been viewed okay, a lot so, of times, you know. So white chocolate, Miss Faulkner, and Uncle Willie. We're gonna do we're gonna do a, another dog uh for the ten dollars because right now, um, being it I can't I accurately identify this. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a dog, I'm gonna give y'all another dog. Solo, go ahead and drop another dog in the chat so I can put it up for him. But don't yeah, we're gonna do something in America, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do something in the states from back in the day. I'm Salute. gonna check one out now. Salute. Yeah. Can you hear me, Dre? Yes, sir. All right, it's good. Yeah. In the meantime, y'all, um, let me go ahead and give y'all. Something else to entertain y'all while we wait, all right? Uh, because why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Check this out. This for you. Too many mind. Too many mind? Mind the soul. Mind the people want. Mind the enemy. Too many mind. Yeah, man, we're gonna get y'all, we're gonna get y'all another one up there, man. So this for uh Sister Mary, Uncle Willie, and White Chocolate. Uh I I, I got we gotta we gotta finish off the show strong, man. And um hold on the brother. He said, he said, get ready. Uh hold on, let me check real quick. All right, so solo got in there. Solo B, uh, uh Big Hill, y'all there? Yeah, I'm here. Hit solo coming right back. My God. If, if this next dog, y'all. Okay, yes, sir. Hey, so um, brother Yurok said I could I could share this with y'all, man. So look, his winnings, he just donated the winnings to uh to fund anybody who uh for that, that'll get two people in or or four people for fun shows into the digital dog show. He donated his winnings back to digital dog show. So um I tell y'all what, uh when y'all see brother you're rocking the chat man y'all make sure y'all show him mad love man because uh there's people who might not have a cash or might have the, might not have a ways and means but um that brother just that brother just uh just got two free entries in there man salute to you brother you're rock bro salute salute you. salute you rock salute 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 brother man that's what i'm telling you man that's why y'all the best people bro i swear to god man like I, it, you you can't you can't make this stuff up bro like you know how many people donate, like they win and donate right back to, to somebody else who might be less fortunate, bro? That's, come on, bro. Bulldogging. Bulldog community. A real yeah. bulldog community, for sure. Like, it, it, it's truly it's truly humbling, man, because um, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give you an example, okay? The last, two, the last two holiday parties I had at my job, I won a, I won a PS5 and I won a MacBook. And do you think I was donating that back to the, to the unit? Man, hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my, my kids in there playing on that PS5 right now. My wife got that uh, that MacBook. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, brother, you're rock. Right. Everybody's showing you love, bro. Brother Ween said respect. 
brother wordless said respect you know what i'm saying like the, the brothers really the brothers really respect that that dignity that 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 integrity and that moral that moral fiber bro salute to you bro what the nuns all right y'all anyways y'all got me so in my feeling y'all know i'm emotional y'all got me in my feelings so much i gotta i gotta go ahead and uh and get this get this photo uploaded for y'all uh like man come on bro then dicky foster coming through with a two-piece tip tip hey salute dicky come on man schoolboy in there bro hey man let me let me do this real quick all right uh schoolboy you don't have to man but everybody love to hear you talk bro i know i do you know what i'm saying uh listening to schoolboys is is, is, is is like listening to uh history in the making you know what i'm saying it's like being it's like being in the gym at usc when michael jordan was playing you knew you were seeing something great you know the school the, school boy don't be playing the school boy don't be playing man <laughs> yeah man. you know it, it's amazing it's amazing that the ogs uh going hard school boy it's amazing the ogs even come listen to my young ass man salute to y'all brothers boy I, I i i cannot say how much i appreciate everybody who come through the chat i i can't it, it would take the whole video and some to do that you know and um y'all done got me so inspired on on this sunday instead of instead of just doing a sunday weekly wrap up we're going live again y'all we go we, uh, King G salute. Welcome to the chat, bro. Uh, instead of instead of I'm, I'm going live again this Sunday, bro. I, I can't and I'm not gonna go live during J Bo time slot because I, I I listen to both. You know what I'm saying? I listen to nonstop. Can't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's law. Yeah, bro. Um, but yeah, Mr. Garcia, I put the link in there. I'm about to send it to you on Facebook too, man, because uh. Schoolboy always coming through, dropping some dimes and, and, and some dollars of, of knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? Some dollars of knowledge. Yeah, he do that. He do that for sure. And then, yeah, if you disrespect Schoolboy, man, I don't know what's in your mind, you know? And we're going to turn it negative, but I heard something, and I'm like, that that ain't right, bro. Yeah. Can you disrespect yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now, and that ain't right. Solo was saying, "You know, hey, look, who is, I, that shit ain't right." We gonna. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you this, bro. Look, so, uh, so, uh, in my ADBA club, uh, y'all know, I, y'all know, I'm a member, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to get voted. Also, those are her ADBA members. Make sure y'all come out on, uh, on Memorial Day, or at least, uh, at least go on, on our Facebook page. We're opening up our Facebook page for the uh, Mesa, Arizona ADBA uh, American Football Terrier Club. I'm trying to get voted in as the vice president. But um, one of the members of our club, right? He uh, this man, this 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 about to make y'all laugh like a motherfucker. So I guess he was, I guess he was trying to name drop. Uh, and he was like, "Yeah, uh, I know Mr. Richard Garcia." And I was like, "Oh, you do? <laughs> that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that that's crazy, B. That's crazy. But um, yeah, man. Literally, he knows schoolboy schoolboy rock with all the real ones, man. Uh, shout out to Henry James with the two piece. Tip, tip, hey, Let's hey, see. salute, yeah. Hemi James. Yeah, bro, brother, brother dropped schoolboy name on me like I wasn't familiar with who schoolboy was. Come on, B. I was born on the day, but it wasn't yesterday. In the meantime, y'all, my goofy ass up here running my mouth. I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the, the next the next dog up on the screen for y'all. Uh, slowly but surely. And then um, let me share this with y'all too. Uh, while I got y'all here, if you're not watching BMF, if you're not watching uh, Raise the Cane and all that stuff by Fifty, you missing out on some crazy stuff, man. You missing out on some crazy stuff, B. Um, I'm caught up on BMF. I'm not going to spoil it for none of y'all, man. But uh, Michi and them, man, they got a great story. And a uh, shout out to Big Meech, man. Uh, I'd be glad to see when he come home. Uh, it's supposed to be before Christmas this year, yo. You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Uh, little Meech and them, uh, gifting, gifting, uh, big Meech and uh, Southwest T a dog from one of us, bro. That would be like that. That would be the pinnacle of my existence is is seeing a brother come home who stood 10 toes down. His organization was based upon not being violent 
And, and mind you, I don't appreciate what pouring drugs into the community. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is he 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 was a game changer as far as how he ran his organization, yo. And uh, and I'm watching that freak Nick that, that freak Nick uh, documentary too. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Every 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 ten minutes, I'm scared. I'm gonna see somebody I'm related to on there, and uh, I'm not okay with that. You know, what I'm saying I'm letting my family know right now. I'm putting you on high alert. I thought I saw one of my cousins on there at the 15 minute mark. Uh, you know who you are, cuz though it looked like you, and uh, I'm not okay. You know, what I'm saying I'm not okay. You know, <laughs> real for real. But uh, yeah, man, I, uh, I watch TV. I watch a lot of TV. I don't even be watching TV, man. You know, you know, I had watched the TV lately because you know I'm right around here where the Key Bridge thing at. So everybody been checking out the news as far as that that situation. But other than that, I don't be watching TV too much. I just watch the news, try to get, get stay stay current with the current events. Other than that, I be working on with the dogs. For sure. Hey, uh, let me let me show y'all something real quick. Look who we woke up, a sleeping giant. <laughs> Welcome to the panel, you know it. Salute everybody in the chat and on the panel. Yeah, man, I've had a busy day. I was on Buck this morning. I'm here now, and I did some interviews and some more videos during the day. So it's been busy, but I'm used to it. I love it, man. I like your show. Steve Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I made his money. <laughs> eh, that's all right. I don't need. I don't need no money. I got money. <laughs> yeah. What are we cooking on? Uh, so schoolboy, we were talking. I muted myself. Schoolboy, we were just uh, cooking on uh, working dogs, and um, the first question that was asked in the beginning of the night was, "What is a working dog to you?" And then uh, we just went into like you know hog dogging and, and things like that, and uh, and I showed a couple of videos of of, of just dogs. Now we, we're just talking about what is a working dog. Yeah, something that's uh, used for a function. You know, that's every every breed was a quote unquote working dog. You know, uh, is meant for something. You know, uh, developed for a reason, whatever it was. So that's a working dog. You know, sport, work, protection, guarding, herding, you name it. As long as you're doing something with them. And generally, if it's what it was originally bred for, great. If not, and you use it for something else, that's great, too, because you're doing something with it. So that's just my definition. Somebody else might have a different one, you know. I have a picture of that Yervana. Somebody put Yervana in the in the chat. Yeah, I seen that dog, and he just looked good, or she just looked good. Yeah, you know, He's, I heard I, she I was a good one. About the dog. Yeah, me either. Me either. I thought I heard was, she was I a good one. Was a female. I just kept looking at it. I said, "That looks like a female." She was yeah, it's a right female. Here. Yeah, I think she's a grand champion. I think. You know, you hear things here and there, and when something comes up, they'll mention it to me. You know, I don't ask for too many details or nothing like that, but if it's a good dog, somebody will tell me, you know. I don't even know how she, Yeah, I don't know how she's bred, either. Do does anybody know how she's bred? Yeah, he, mostly Eli. They broke, they broke it down. They broke her pedigree there. Oh, okay. Is it the Mexican Eli stuff? It's like, I think they imported, like, some recent stock. Okay. Any T bud in there? Let me check it out. What's that Col Colossal dog? I forgot to see it. Colossal or something? C, uh, C O L L A Z O, something like that. Colazio? Something or like Colizo? that. Colizo? I'm not yeah. familiar with them. Yeah. All right, man. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, my, my son came in and it was uh, he, he was wilding y'all. Uh, but uh, yeah, man. And uh, so um, schoolboy, while I got you here, 
Um, I'm gonna put it in, in our private chat. And uh, if you know anything about this next dog I show on the screen, man, I would love to hear your take, or even the dogs behind it. I would uh right. I would love to hear, you know, anything you might be able to share with us because it anything is better than nothing. And I and I have nothing other than, than a picture, but um they said pictures worth a thousand words, you know. Uh, and then, yeah. and then the, the person who gets this is between Mrs. Uh, Faulkner, uh, Uncle Willie, and White Chocolate, as far as uh, who can actually uh, can cast their vote as, as to who the dog is. Woo! Man, my son is wilding right now, y'all. Y'all don't, don't even understand, man. These kids, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I am beat. He beat, he beat the shit out of me just now, you know, um, but, uh, it's all love, man. It's all love. Did you? Uh, did you have? He just, he just wants your attention. <laughs> yeah. So, with your how? What's the spread on your kids' school boy? If you don't mind me asking, uh, as far as age differences. Oh man, they up in the forties already. They're about five okay. years apart. My sons, or I don't know, they were born in 77, 80, 80, uh, three, and then. Uh, 88 so they late 30s early 40s i don't remember man i know i was there when they were born <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. they get they get yeah. they get mad because i remember every detail from my son but the girls i don't i don't remember a lot of details you know <laughs> and they, they get they get pissed off but you know my son came in he had he had problems when he came in. He had heart surgery when he was two months old. He had detached retinas, jaundice, pneumonia. He's a survivor, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, you know, that kind of sticks with you. That's the one that had the, the uh, uh, encounter with the coyotes? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Champion game, Bill was his game, dog. He game, he game, ain't he? <laughs> oh, yeah. He, yeah. He, like I said the other day, he ain't even scared of dogs, man. He he don't dogs act like they're attacking, man. He just looks at them. They 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 bow down. They they stop. Angie's the same way. They they ain't scared of dogs, man. With me, I'm a fight. Well, I'm ready for a fight, man. We're gonna somebody gonna get hurt. Probably both of us. But them, they just they just stare them down. They don't even say nothing. And the dog just stop, man. It's that's a trick when you see it. That that's sort of like. Back in the day, when some of them dogs would look at the other dog and, and, and make them curl before, before it even starts, they only yeah, watch. like that. <laughs> yeah, one that my friend had. Maybe I said it here or somewhere else, but my friend had it. it was a red, red nose. And he had her for inside dog for protection, you know, for keep people out. And we came to visit, and he opened up the door, and Angie was going to the door first. I was behind her. And the dog got past him and came screaming at her, man, like he was going to bite her. She just looked at the dog and about two feet from getting to her, the dog stopped and just sat there. And I was I was rushing up. I was going to grab that dog and choke it. I didn't care if it was my friend's dog, whatever. But the dog just stopped. And and he even, his eyes got real wide, like, whoa, she don't do that. She attacked. When she's going to attack, she attacks, but not her, man. Hey, if y'all ever had a dog that was like insane and, and like fight crazy, whatever, but it respected a certain dog on your yard? I know dogs like that. In fact, uh, similar to like that, uh, Dunlavy got a, he was a brother sister bred off a of Jeep and Kate, brother sister breeding. Beautiful animal. Called him Bucky. That dog would hit anything. In fact, there was a, there was a picnic table next to his chain area and he saw a, a horse about a quarter mile away walking, you know, in a field. And he went nuts, man. And he hit the end of his chain and grabbed that, that table and broke his tooth. And this horse was far away, man. Any critter run around, he scream at it. A leaf would fly by, he'd jump at it, try to get it. Just nuts. But he was raised with this cat. It was his mama cat. And that cat could do anything. He would kill other cats, but not her. And if he got out of line, if he got too rambunctious, he'd walk up to him and swat him in the face. Boom. Like, behave, boy. And he'd sit there with his head down, like, embarrassed, you know. And, uh, man, that was his mama cat. He was raised with her. and He, could, he couldn't. 
She could control him. She could do whatever she wanted, man. She eat his food. He'd back off and let her eat. And then when she was done, she'd like, okay, walk away. And then he'd eat, you know, but anything else, he was nuts, man. Yeah. I had a uh, dog named Honey. She was Red Boy Jocko. She was a Mayday dog with a little bit of the uh, pissed off Joker in her. And I uh, also had a, a black dog who was off of uh, some Boudreaux stuff to uh, a daughter of Wet Work Ickes. The Mexican, I think it was a Mexican dog, the white dog with the black spots on it. Mm -hmm. no, oh, yeah. Be. Ickes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all yeah. mostly white with some black ticking or spots. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. she was just insane from an early age. I mean, her litter was so hot that they killed the only other female in it. The puppies did. Mm. She was just hot from an early age, but she wouldn't, she she respected this dog. One day, um, I let her out the house, and I thought I had the other dogs put up, but I forgot that I had this the Eli dog on the chain out there. And so when I let her out, I just heard a Arr! And then I looked outside, and it was something, I guess, a ball or whatever he had in it, that, that she tried to get it. And man, when he did, she she wasn't, you know, she didn't do nothing. She she always respected him. Like she always it's like a fear. yeah. I don't know if it was a fear or respect because yeah. she was a small puppy and she was kind of raised around him. You know, he was older than her. But yeah. I just noticed like she'd fight any other thing, <clears throat> and uh, she was super hot, but. She never ever bucked up to that to that particular dog. Even her sons, yeah. when they got to a certain age, she couldn't be around them. Right. But yeah, they exhibit all dog, kinds she, of behavior. She, she, you know. Yeah. She respected yep. only, only him. That was the only dog that she ever yeah. acted like had, that with. I had one yeah. that I had one that uh she 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 wouldn't she wouldn't. She was like a cold dog, but like one of her sons. Her, the 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 dog that I bred her to, he was like, uh, you know, he was real mean. So, one of her sons, she did not let the father. Every time the father would look over there at the son, she would like go crazy. She would go crazy, like yeah. you know what I mean. She would go crazy, like she knew that that like the father had it out for him or something. Like it was like she would just be like yelling, at, wouldn't let him look at her, look at the uh, yeah. Wouldn't let son. Him his son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A, a very famous dog guy had a had a male. And you know, dogs, they breed to anything, right? And this dog would too. He'd breed to his sister, his aunt, out across, whatever. But he would not breed to his own mother. He tried to make a breed and the dog wouldn't do it. And he would just that way, you know. Sister, yeah, aunt, fine, cousin, whatever. Out cross, line bread, whatever. But to his own mama, he wouldn't breed her. Yeah, a long time ago. This is a long time ago. I'm I'm totally legal. You know, I live by the disclaimer. But a long time ago, I had this dip. And I tried to click her on the first time. And, and she hollered, you know. So we stopped it. But the guy tried to put the same dog. I mean, she was a she was a she was a monster. He tried to uh click her daughter on. Didn't have nothing to do with my dog, but the dog that, you know. I tried to click my dog on with, and she just hollered the first time. After that, you know, he tried to put her on her own daughter, and this was a, a my monster. She ran; she wouldn't hit. She wouldn't hit her. Yeah, I tried to scratch into her a couple times, and she just wouldn't. You know, I guess she knew engage. that was her daughter. She wouldn't yeah. engage yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, they exhibit all kinds of stuff. Even mine, you know, I talk about they were hot; they'd hit anything most of the time. The males would fight the females. I had a dog inside one time and, uh, and, uh, again, I forget if it was, I opened the door, somebody opened the door anyway, dog got passes and the neighbor happened to be walking two females, you know, they were like little shepherds, you know, like little collies or something, you know, and he ran out a hundred miles an hour. He was going to hit them to, and I'm right behind the man and the guys there and the females, all they did was, was cow down like submissive. And he ran up to him and stopped. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. And the guy looked at me. He goes, he's behaving. He's behaving. He's good. I said, cool. I snatched him up, went back inside. 
but it was just that i guess they exhibited that that behavior of he's dominant you know or he's aggressive so i'm gonna be submissive and it worked and i, I he did he didn't touch him you know he stopped right before he hit him and just kind of looked at him you know i guess you know no confrontation no no uh aggression towards him so he he just left him alone you know but there's all kinds of stories like that of dogs behaving certain ways for whatever reason or certain reasons you know it's not uncommon yeah and i was disappointed man because right after <laughs> there was like a stick in there and she started chewing but she was only 16 months old so yeah partners they was like man just just wait on her man yeah. So I just yeah. wait on her, you know, and about at about yeah. two years old, I said, man, if you don't do nothing today, your ass gone. She yeah. must have knew it because that time she came out like a straight out bulldog. Yeah. If you tell them that, <laughs> believe it or not, that pe yeah, people don't believe this, but I've I've had this happen and and other people have said it. Even Rasta man has said it. You know, if you tell them some shit like that, like, you know, this is it. You got last chance if you don't do something. Them, them suckers will start, man. Or they'll be they'll be losing, right? In the past, talking about the past. And the hand will tell them, you better get up and do your thing, man, or you're done. And the dog will do it, man. So whether they understand or whether it's a circumstance, whatever it is, I always used to talk to my dogs, you know. People would tell me, Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna kill your dog, I'm gonna do this and that. I go tell my dog, hey, they said they're gonna kill you, man. Get their ass, you know. They say they're gonna they're gonna finish you. You done. This is it. Your last day on earth. I tell them shit like that. <laughs> Man, she came out like I was so proud that day. I, I know when she was sixteen months. You know, I just waited on her to about two. Yeah. You know, and I was like, man, because I had she wasn't a mayday dog. She was an Eli Tonka alligator bitch. So I'm like, right. man, I got this good bitch, and I'm like, shit, your ass gone. Man, that bitch came out like a bulldog. I mean, yeah. showed out. Yeah. <laughs> straight up. Yeah. It surprised you that way. Yeah. Yeah. And then, they yeah. make you like them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, then, um, I'm going to go ahead and post the dog for the competition between Mrs. Uh, Faulkner, Uncle Willie, and uh, White Chocolate. Um, this dog is a champion. This is a $10, like I said, it's a $10, $10, $10 uh, knowledge competition. And, um, we're going to talk about the dog. Uh, Schoolboy, you've been a judge. So please talk about structure. Uh, Brother Solo, Brother Big Hill. And then uh, I'm going to shut it down after after we get done with this one, man, because my wife going to kill me if I don't, man. Y'all know I don't, I don't know about an hour. And when my son came here wilding, man, it, uh, yeah. But uh, here goes the <laughs> dog in um, three, two, one. Um, this dog right here to me is, is a perfect example of what I think an American Pitbull Terrier should look like. Uh, and it was a performer. It was a champion dog. Um, y'all brothers go ahead and cook. Oh man, <laughs> John Kramer, you weren't even supposed to be in the runner for that one. Yeah. John what are we supposed to be ju judging? Oh no! So, uh, so school boy, I posted it, and what's supposed to happen is the first person that gets it right, uh, the first person. Oh, that gets the it name right, of the dog. Yeah. Oh. But, um, oh, okay. John, John Kramer knew it off the rip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I didn't know anyway. So, John, you beat me. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. So look, this yeah, is that's a good do. looking dog. This, this <laughs> is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just split it uh I'm gonna just split it four ways and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a twenty dollar I'm gonna make it a twenty dollar thing man so white chocolate Uncle Willie John Kramer and Miss Faulkner hit me on the Facebook and uh, I'll catch up all y'all uh, the five on that but um I'm gonna go through this pedigree real quick Schoolboy uh, Big Hill and Solo if y'all know these dogs in the pedigree and y'all wanna spill on it we will spill on it real quick and then we gonna get up out of here all right y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, Salute, uh, salute. Here it goes. Go okay, on so. say, talk about it. He was a monster, but I don't know if I would have. I mean, he he was so insane that man they had to bring him in in the crate. 
and they had to release him from the crate because he gets so worked up, he biting anything around him. You know, but mm -hmm. he was a monster, man. From what I read, I ain't never seen the dog, but right, you know, yeah. monster, absolute monster. Hey, let me let me interrupt y'all real quick while y'all cooking. Uh, John Kramer said he's donating his five. So he just paid for somebody to get into one of the fun shows for the Digital Dog Show, man. Salute to John Kramer, man. Y'all salute that brother, man. That, that's that's commendable. Uh, that's commendable. Respect, salute, John. salute, JC. Salute. Yeah, salute, All JC. Who right. were you about to cook? I'm sorry to interrupt you, big dog. No, I was going to say uh, uh, it takes expert handling to to handle a dog like that. Or, you know, they, they uh, have that stipulation. We'll cut them loose from the crate, you know. Because generally they'll settle down, you know. There was one guy, it was the owner of Champion, what's her name? I think it was Champion. Anyways, it was a Carver, Old Family Red Nose Cross. And his stipulation was that there would be no handling the first 15 minutes because she would bite, you know. And he had to, they had to be up close when they faced him off because she might get distracted and go after somebody, you know. So they had they cut them loose almost face to face, and then even if there was an early turn or something, you know, no handling for the first fifteen minutes. So there's dogs like that, you know. I think he broke like a handler arm or something early on. Could be, yeah. This, this yeah. dog right here, Orca. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think when they broke him, I think they said they had to put a collar on him, and then attach two leashes. And then one person to hold a leash on one end, and one person to hold a leash on the other end. And then as soon as you break them, you got to get on the way, you know. Yeah. So it takes three people yeah. to break them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, things happen, man. You know. So I, what, I was it's like, it's like we, he, he, uh, what, he went back to what was it, uh, Barracuda, Barracuda, back to back to his own daughter, right? So it was like three times May Day and twice Barracuda. Yeah, Talia. Yeah. Yes. My May Day dogs, they all had a man eater uh, personality. I mean, one time mm. I got into one of my homies right back. You know what I'm saying? I knocked him out, though. Know, knocked him to the ground. I say, I ain't knock him out. But I had a uh, doomsday. I had my uh, the, the brother, half brother, the grand champion, Candy, on the yard. And, uh, you know, I went, he, I mean, he was acting like he'd eat him up. You know, and I went and got him off the chain to take him in the basement. And my guy that I just had a fight with was like, man, don't let him, don't let him. I'm like, I ain't going to let the dog loose on you, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. if I would have, <laughs> he, he would definitely would have bit him. And uh, yeah. the, the uh, his niece, Honey, you know, she was insane, you know, food aggressive. And I mean, one time I took her on a ride and uh, she had I never did nothing with this dog. She had a couple of accidents, like, but I had never did nothing with her. But when I took her out of my car, she grabbed the inside of my car, like the inside of the door. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like she was expecting to get down. And you got me, you rode me somewhere, and now we, we, and I'm like, wow. So they so, all, yeah. all of them dogs, I mean, so them, you, them dogs kind of crazy, man. Some of them Mayday and Barracuda and all you, that, you, you know, some of them dogs kind of crazy, bro. If you look, yeah. so looking through his page, so. So what? What they bring him? They bring him to um. They bring him to Bay Bay. I only had a pet right in front of me, but I think he right off Barracuda. Nah, but they bring him to Bay Bay. Look like because I see twin of them say talk about him. I see twin of them in the chest say talk about him. It looked like they bred to him with Bay Bay and got something. Got something off of him. Um, looked like they got something called Lotto Buck or something off of him. I don't know. If that's if that's if that's twin of them that did that or not, look like they got a dog they bred bred to baby. I know they, I know they talked about a dog called baby, so they bred actually might have bred to this dog right here. Yeah, and he, in the, he, in the, he in the chat. I wonder if 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 I'm if I'm seeing it correctly. Yeah, that same dog that I was just telling y'all about Doomsday. Um, my partner. You know what I'm saying? And his, his grandma had a house, you know, I mean, they had a dog that was a guard dog, but she died. So he was like, man, put one of them dogs on my yard, man. You know, put one of them dogs that bite. So I'm like, all right. You know, it, was, it wasn't too far from where I live, so I'm like, I can just come down and take care of the dog, and he'd be on another yard. Man, he called me later that day, like, man, you got to come get him, man. 
You know, he tried to eat up my son. He seen my son oh. trying to hit him. Oh. And uh, he was heavy Mayday too. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, <clears throat> to me, it's not surprising to get something like that out of them dogs because of the the ones that I know about, even even the puppy. When I went to pick her up, you know, uh, she tried to damn near bite the, uh, the, the brother face off. You know, I'm like, wow. You know, mm. I mean, uh, not not her, but uh, one of her older half brothers tried to bite him. You know, because he was yeah. uh, he was working him and he was so worked up. So some of them dogs got animal aggressive traits, man. You know, yeah. Some of them, I mean, a human aggressive traits. Yeah, they yeah. will bite. Take, you know, some of them like I said, take, the red boy Jocko and all that. They will bite, bro. Like I said, it takes expert handling. And a lot of caution oh, and the right. Point. Yeah, uh, I think you did this one on Buck Channel, but uh, please, please revisit this one. So, Brother Henry James asked, so if the dog was to bite someone, does it still get disqualified? No. Not, not, uh, no, not, I can't think of a circumstance, you know. If you get bit, you get bit. You can't touch the dogs, but there's no rule that says the dog can't touch you. I've seen them bite the handler. One, one time I was refereeing and uh, I went to defang the dogs. They were holding on the dogs and one of the guys didn't hold them. You know, people, they get scared, you know, because the dog, the way they're acting. So he let go. And the, when he let go, the dog reached up and grabbed the other handler by the arm and bit his arm, you know. And they asked if they could change handlers. The other side let them. So they brought another handler in. Uh, one time I was watching a show, my friend, and he was crouched down and the dog, you know, they come at him and he went past the other dog and bit him right in the stifle, you know, right by his groin, man. He had to go to the hospital and he asked me to take over. So I took over, but no, you don't get, you don't get uh, disqualified. Another time, uh, a dog bit his own handler. He, he bit him on the arm, you know, he got too close and he just grabbed him, you know, and he stood up and the dog was hanging off of his arm, left a big old hole in his arm. But he finished the show. He won, kept handling. Another time, a famous dog guy, the opponent's dog, uh, let go and grabbed him oh. by the leg, you know, and he, he yelled out, foul, foul. He said, schoolboy, that's a foul. I said, that ain't no foul. It's not a foul. You get bit like that. It's not, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't disqualify a dog for doing what it's naturally meant to do, which is bite. You know, if you get in the way or if they look at you funny or whatever and you, they go after you, it's just, it happens, you know, because the dogs don't know the rules. You know, they don't know they're not supposed to do that. Uh, another time, the dog, they cut them loose. Right when they cut them loose, two females, one female, instead of hitting the other female, she ran over to the ref and bit the ref who was standing in a neutral area, you know, on the side. And uh, they just they just broke them off and put them together and let them go at it, you know. Elon Monster said Red Boy Jocko known to bite. Well, uh, Bob Raz said that Jocko would bite you. If you didn't know you or something, you couldn't just walk up in this chain spot. And yeah. then Bolio yeah. was an excite biter. So if he was holding right. him on a scratch and he was ready to scratch, he was holding him too long, he'd bite you. Not not yep. take a hold of you and shake you out, but bite you to get you to let him go so he can scratch. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're breeding dogs, do dogs with the red boy Jocko and Bolio in them, you know, you tend to get like I got a dog right now and there's red boy Jocko Bolio, and he got a ball that he obsessed with, a jolly ball. Yeah. Right. You try to take that jolly ball, you're getting bit. You know? Yeah. And yeah, I'm not, fact, I mean, it's an animal. So uh, I'm not finna, right. you know, it's an animal, yep. man. I let him be what he yep. is. You know, I'm not finna get rid of him because he, he liked that because I understand the animal. Right. You know? In fact, I think, I think champion Yellow John, you know, the one, the, 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 the you know, uh, Yellow Sire. Yeah. I think he, I think he bit Donnie Holcomb's son. And I, I think this is what I heard. Anyways, he put him down because of that. 
So yeah, it's in that blood for them to do that. Just like the Eli dogs, some of them will do that. Just like the, like you said, the Bolio dogs will do that. The alligator dogs, you know, will do that. Bully son. Yeah, bully son. Yeah, twin them, twin yeah. them did, twin them did breed baby to uh orca. I figured that they bred baby to orca and, and sassy girl. He said, yeah. he bred, so he he bred to orca, so he know what that stuff about. Yeah, yeah. It just you know, they have all they like people. They got all kinds of attitude reasons and how they do what they do and all that. You just learn to read the signs. That's what I'll say. Cause they're, they're at some point I stopped getting bit. I mean, even one time I, I we were going to, we we're transporting a dog to Texas and we stopped over at a, at a, a rest stop, you know? So my buddy tells me, he goes, Hey, take, take him out and go for a walk, you know, let him piss and all that. So I took him out as we're walking by the vehicle. He saw his reflection in the paint of the car, you know, on the door. And I could tell, man, he bowed up. He, come back at me like he was going to bite me. And when he did that, I just snatched him up, put him back in his crate. I said, you take him out. I ain't taking this son of a bitch up. <laughs> and it was just his own reflection. And, you know, I'm holding the lead. So in his mind, I'm holding him back. So for him to get to himself in the reflection, he was going to turn on me and bite me. So I'd let him go. And some of them, some of them, some of them, when they, the more, Hmm. Some of them different when you start getting them in in shape, they start feeling themselves a little too. So they start feeling themselves. Yeah. yeah, I went through that too. I, I bred a bred a litter. Uh, there was only two pups in the litter. I sold them to the same person. He raised them. They both worked out. One got stolen. The other one, he bring them back to me to work him. Went through the keep, and I could tell he he was changing. My dad was there and. My family, so I told everybody just stay away from the dog. You know, he's acting like you know he's coming on point. He's wild up and he's just itching to bite somebody. So we're on the day of the show, getting ready to go to the show, and his owner shows up, and he walks to the door. He raised this dog. He schooled him. This is his dog, and he went to pet the dog, and the dog bit him again in the stifle. Man, bit his own owner. The only one at that point could handle him was me. He never tried to bite me, never bowed up on me. Even during the match, he didn't act stupid, none of that. But he was so amped up that he wanted to bite something. And when his owner came to pet him, man, he bit him. So we, we patched him up and we went on to the show and won, you know. <laughs> even, at, even at the wash with that dog, there was a little kid there, man. I told the guy, get the kid out of here, please. This dog's wet. If he goes after your son, I'm not going to be able to hold him, man. He's going to slip out. So he hollered at his kid, go inside, you know. And, uh, you know, that, that kind of, because he had just bit his owner, sure. You know, he wanted to bite something, man. He was ready. So, yeah, yeah, they get, they get, they can change as you go through the key. That's part of the peaking, you know. They just so amp, they they want to go after anything, and they will. They'll go after a twig, they'll go after a leaf, they'll go after a bird, you know. Which is why, you know, when it gets to the end of the keep, I'd leave them alone. I don't mess with them too much. They Take know them out to empty. They especially know something's they coming, been, they, especially if they haven't been through it. Exactly, they even they more exactly so. What is coming? Yeah, something's yeah. coming up, and I'm I'm ready. Right. So, I like I said, last. Last couple of three days, I don't hardly touch them. I don't hardly go near them. I don't get them act up or worked out up. Take them out to empty, feed them. That's it. Maybe walk them a little bit, you know, to loosen up so they're not cramped up all day in a crate or a kennel or whatever. But other than that, I don't mess with them. Yeah, man. I think that um that once as you're going through that keeping, they're getting the shape that testosterone level is spiking too, man. You know. Uh, you go to the gym enough, even if you don't take any kind of supplements, and you start getting in yeah. shape, and you're going to become more more virile. You know, uh, right? Well, here's a question. That's a good. That's a good point. And here's a question, right? Does since that happens with males, it happens with females too. They'll get the same way. Yeah. So like does their does their testosterone increase too? That female that I had, she had never been 
road or anything like that. But when I took her for that ride and I took her out that car, she was expecting to be put down. I know it because she grabbed the inside of my car and then she was looking like, what What are we here for? So I think yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a thing called genetic memory. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, I'm just asking genetic, because it's not just. Yeah, I'm just asking because I don't know. It's, it's something that if you have been through certain trauma, your family, your bloodline have been through certain situations. It's, 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 a, it's a conscious memory of things that you've actually been through. And it's also a genetic memory of, of, Hey, you know, when I, when I, when I get put in this crate and we, we taking a ride when, when I get out this crate, it's going to go down. Makes you know? sense. Yeah. So I, just that, wondered. I, I was shocked. I'm like, what the, what, what the hell? I'm like, what, what, what is you doing? What, what, you know, I knew she was fight crazy, but you can tell when I took her out that car, because I didn't put the car, the dogs in my car or take them for rides much, you know, she was yeah. expecting, she was expecting something. And yeah. It so wasn't cool. from her personal experiences, from the experiences of her ancestors, Mayday, Yellow John, all of them dogs, you know? Right. Schoolboy, I think. To, go ahead, uh, Samurai. I'm gonna go twofold with that. So one is the only way to tell if the dog uh, testosterone levels went up is you'd have to do some 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 testosterone testing on it, right? But I will say, mm -hmm. uh, even in human beings, um, there are certain there are certain indicators. I'll give you an example, and this is a far fetched example, but it's the best example I can think of. Uh, those who are under the mindset that you can change your your given gender or, or sex at birth, they will take uh, testosterone and it will cause them to grow hair in places and to to have uh, more masculine traits, you know, um, with the increase of testosterone in the body or whether it's medically induced or induced through uh, exercise and, uh, and fitness, right? And so I would say that uh, just based upon what I understand about that and working out and, you know, being fit, that there is a certain level that I would say it would increase their their tenacity or their uh or their aggression. Yeah, makes sense. Here, here's another example. My my sister was house sitting for her pastor, right? And he had a bull mastiff. So we come by to visit, right? And the bull mastiff was there, and I go, Oh, he's got a dog. She go, Yeah, he's fine. He he loves everybody, you know, he's okay. So, okay, no problem. So I go to walk by him. We're walking through the house and I walked by him and he growled at me. And I looked at him, I said, you know what I used to do with dogs, shut the fuck up and lay down. And he did. And he was good after that. <laughs> but I thought maybe I was giving him that aura of, you know, I'm a dog guy that did this, you know, and he didn't like it. You know, that's, that's just in my head. I don't know if it's true or not. But he did growl at me and I did tell him that. And he laid down. He was OK after that. We could pet him and all that, but he didn't like me at first, man. And I, I always think maybe he, he knew what I used to do, you know. He didn't like it. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, y'all, I, I hate to do this to the chat. I hate to do this to the panel. No but, problem, brother. Yeah, I got to shut it down, y'all. Um, Brother John, uh, it, it was far-fetched. I was just giving an example of basically like when a, when transgender individuals take uh, take testosterone. Um, but schoolboy, solo. Big Hill, please plug y'all stuff in there, man. Schoolboy, you got a lot. Uh, please don't forget the book, <laughs> the, the the registry, the clothing line. Like, you know, so make sure y'all plug y'all stuff. Yeah. Yeah, just contact me on uh, Facebook Messenger, my email, richardjschoolboy60 at gmail.com or on Instagram. I got three books I've written, my key uh, reprints of sporting dog journals, old stuff. I got sticks, T-shirts, hats. I got a registry, ICDR. I do everything in house, so just contact. I don't have a website or none of that. But yeah, get a hold of me. You know, if you, if it's something important and you need to talk, you know, ask for my phone number or whatever. You know, I, I don't do that with everybody. I'll just you know usually type whatever we need to talk about. But if it's something real detailed or you have an issue or something, I generally have time to speak at least for a little bit. You know. Thank you for that. Thanks for having me on again. Sorry I couldn't get on earlier. Uh, but uh, always a pleasure, brother. Always. So Same. to the and chat and the panel. Schoolboy, please, please, please give a school baby and 
like get that website running, man. Uh, I want to say Wix is free, and I want to say GoDaddy is free. Um, so yeah, please. Okay. Man, I'll, yeah, I'll talk to her about it, and uh, I could probably get a lot more done. I guess you know, I just don't know how to run it. She had to run it, but she's working, you know. So I have my daughter-in-law. You know, my daughter-in-law actually is the one who does the does all the registries registrations. I I give her the info and I guide her and all that, but she does the prints it out and types it all in all that. So I have help, man. I can't do nothing by myself. I'm I'm crippled, but I just run everything, you know. And uh couldn't do it without them. Yes, sir. Brother Solo, brother Big Hill, please go ahead and plug y'all stuff in, man. Uh let these brothers know how they can contact you or or whatever you want to uh put out get out of your chest before we get out of here. Well, you can check me out at uh, on YouTube at the Big Hill Fam. You know where I just talk about bulldogs and life and just talk talk shit. Ain't, ain't, <laughs> not, ain't nothing special at all, you know. And you know I love the bulldog community, and I'm I'm Shogun Shogun motherfucking Shogun for real. You know, part of that samurai family. You know what I mean? Y'all already know how I go. Salute. You can check me out on the Samurai, you know, on this here. You know, I also pop up with the twins and, uh, you know, j Bo and uh, Buck City, other chats. I got a uh, YouTube, Solo Buck Connected Kennels. Really ain't much on there now, but I am going to be putting more if, uh, stuff on there. And uh, keep rocking with us, man. Yeah, man. And as y'all know, man, this is Samurai Kennels and the Shogun Army. We come to spread, we come to spread peace, love, and blessings. Uh, it doesn't matter where you at in your dog journey. It doesn't matter where it's your journey in life. Uh, everybody's going through something. So remember, always be kind and make sure y'all come out and support the Digital Dog Show. If you don't have a dog in there, then please vote on the dogs you think are the most representative of what you would like to see the breed going to in the future. Um, it is it's all about what y'all think because honestly y'all have seen probably individually more dogs than i've seen in my life and i don't think it's right for me alone to make a call that that a community that it was here before me and it will be here after me is going to stand on uh peace love and blessings to everybody and this has been samurai kennels uh weekly uh wednesday night live uh y'all know i gotta pay the sponsors with that intro and we out. This for you. Too many minds. Too many minds? Minds are people. Minds are people. Minds are